Fox 4's Abby Eden. Working for you. The Auto Group is proud to present Fox Voice coverage of our Kansas City St. Patrick's Day Parade. And a live look at Midtown in Kansas City. It is all green today. Mm. We're all Irish as we welcome you to our ninth year of live coverage, this 45th annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. Welcome to Kansas City. Welcome to Old Kansas City, County Jackson. <laughs> we'll call it that. My name is John Holt, O Holt on this day. I'm with the lovely Kathy Quinn, Aaron Gaber, and so fun to be back with you to talk about luck of the Irish. My gosh. Wow, I am. Oh, well, we've I'm been lucky. Heaven. We've been lucky for nine years now to be together. Well, I look forward to this every year. And I feel like I'm the lucky one because you guys let me join you every year. I get to play broadcaster for one day. You know what? This is fabulous. A fabulous day. The sun is out. Everybody's having a good time, aren't you all? Yeah. You guys having, having fun? Time? Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I guess maybe the, the weather helped. By the way, you're going to learn, Aaron, that playing broadcaster really isn't that hard. <laughs> so don't give our secrets away. Well, all right? I've had a good time the last nine years doing it. So it's, it's a glamorous great time. great to have your expertise here. We are waiting the arrival of the parade itself. A few minutes late getting started. Part of the reason I would guess is the beautiful day and the thousands mm -hmm. of people who have come down. Kathy and Aaron, you and I both know we've done this long enough to, that, that when the sun is shining like this, the crowds grow. I'm telling you, so you've got uh, people on top of rooftops, you've got people and their families, and it's Friday, the sunshine, St. Patrick's Day, spring break. Combination. Yeah. It is spring break also, isn't it? There were people lining up on the streets to get their spot by, I mean, I think it was probably 8 or 8.30 that I started people seeing people sitting down and staking out their spot, and I thought, well, that's smart this year with this gorgeous weather and being on a Friday, it's just so exciting to see this many people out here. What's terrific is the families that you see a lot of school districts on spring break, so mm -hmm. they are here celebrating St. Patrick's Day with us. The fact that it's on a Friday helps as well. Let's talk about yes. the parade, what goes into putting it on as we await, uh, await the arrival. The theme this year, Aaron, how would you uh, come to the uh, theme that we're uh, celebrating? So the theme is Peace, Love, and Irish. We felt that that was a great uh, theme, timely theme. Everybody could use a little more peace in their life, it seems like, lately. And the way we come up with it, though, is that the committee members, there's a huge committee that puts this parade on each year, works all year long to put it together and make it happen. And so um, they get to put their suggestions, essentially, in a pot, and we read what they all are, and we vote on it. And this year, the one that won was Peace, Love, and Irish. And then think about it. What you've got to do, John, is if you've ever built a float, you have to uh, kind of get that theme in with Peace, Love, and Irish. And there's one that's hilarious, Disco with Dunn, the J.E. <laughs> Dunn one. You're going to see that one. We saw them building that. Yes. But, I mean, they took the Peace, Love, and and Irish, and they had Mr. Dunn dressed up as a hippie with peace. There you go. Love, and then Irish like a leprechaun, so it was hilarious. And so that's did you one notice, look for. it looked like, because I saw that spot, and you did a great job, by did the it. way, um, but it, they had all these um, cutouts of their employees that were much smaller, and it looked like they were the leprechauns, maybe. Yes. It was super cute. So we're going to see a lot of neat floats adhering to that theme, because that's part of what they get judged on today. Dunn is very good at that. They are la one of last year's winners, so yep. we'll see their entry as they come down down the parade route here. 45 years with the modern parade, but ladies, we know this parade actually dates back many, many years prior. It does. It used yeah. to be, um, and this is similar to how it's still celebrated in Ireland today, but it used to be a much more um, somber, religious, serious um, parade, and it was started by the ancient order of Hibernians. And it went on for years like that, and then um, fizzled out for a while, and then in 1973 um, was, is when they started what is is now the modern day parade and we had uh, Mike Murphy and uh, Pat O'Neill who wanted to drum up some business for their buddy Dan Hogarty and his Pat saloon. Senior. Pat O'Neill Sr. Yeah. Yes, I should specify. Yes. And uh, because Pat O'Neill Jr. is still doing a lot with the Irish community. <laughs> right. um, 
And that was the start of the first St. Patrick's Day Parade. It was the three guys with a sandwich board that yep. on the front it said <laughs> parade starts here, and on the back it said parade ends here. And they walked down the street to Hogarty's Saloon um, to try to yep. drum up business. So, you know, it was really exciting. And to give an idea of where Hogarty's was at the time, Hogarty's is right around where Cosentino's is downtown near the Power and Light District. So that gives you a visual of kind of where wow. the parade originated in Kansas City. And of course, for folks who don't know who Mike Murphy is, radio disc jockey, just hilarious talk show host. And he was just a wonderful, wonderful guy. And there's an award in his name, the Mike Murphy Award. There is the Mike Murphy Honorary Irishman of the Year Award. And this goes to somebody who um, just does a lot in the community, whether they're a business person, a media person, or somebody that kind of uses their profession to really help help um, the Irish community, help push forward the agenda and, and the things that we're doing and the events and that sort of thing. And so this year you'll see him, Bill Grady from KMBZ Radio, an Irishman. He was I've just in Ireland. Yeah, you may have heard from him. You may have heard that voice of his. Well, I heard him this morning, as a matter of fact. <laughs> and so he, we are so excited to honor him with this. He is such a supporter of the Irish community. And he was just in Ireland for a family reunion in August, actually. And, uh, you know, he's just had a ball. So we're excited to honor he him He said he's going to be off work as soon as he goes through the parade. He's not working. <laughs> <laughs> anymore. So no reports from Bill Grady. No so that'll be hilarious. Breaking news. We want nope. no breaking news. You know, one of the, uh, the, the one of the things that Mike Murphy and that the guys would talk, Pat O'Neill Sr. and mm -hmm. Dad, they called it a joke of a parade. They admitted it. World's shortest ever parade. Right. They could never have imagined that all these years later we no. would be seeing what we're seeing today. Well, and they would remember him too, Aaron, from riding on top of a Tra trash truck in the parade. You couldn't, I mean, hilarious. He yes. was, you, could, you never knew what he was going to come up right. with. Yes, so he would come down the route in a trash truck, but what's kind of neat, and I've heard this story many times, is that um, prior to when he passed away, he there were many years that he would just, somebody would take him down the route, whether it was in a vehicle, golf cart, or something before the parade started, just by himself to soak it all in. Uh -huh. Because I can't imagine what that would feel like to start something like this. Unbelievable. And here we are today, 45 years later. You're taking a live look now at our judges yes. for this year. We want to talk about them, and, and an esteemed group. Uh, we'll talk about some of them individually. But first of all, Aaron, how do, how do you become a judge in this parade? That's a, there's a lot of pressure. Right? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> so the judges are nominated by, um, by the committee, members of the committee, and um, throughout the year. And the co-chairs choose the final judges. These are people that um, not, aren't necessarily Irish. We want an outside <laughs> perspective. Sure. We want some people who um, just can be, um, you know, just look at the different entries and not have favorites going into it, so to speak. Well, see. how about a real judge? How about Molly Merrigan? There you I go. was just <laughs> talking to Molly, seen Molly on different cases, and she said she was nervous about her job today. And I'm thinking, Molly, what? Right. You, you have legal cases that I'm you are a judge you. for. There but, you are know, no rules of evidence that <laughs> right. she has to worry right. about here. What's right? great, though, is that we have committee members who really work with these judges from early in the morning all the way through the parade to make sure that they know what's going on, they know what to be looking at and judging, what they're going to judge on. They're going to look at things, like I mentioned, like adherence to mm -hmm. theme. Uh, they're going to look at things like following the rules, which may sound simple, but it's not everybody can do that. Right. So, and the, okay, say, say you've got a marching band. They've got to march in step. Those are types of things that you're looking for. Yes, and just the originality of the music. And they also have to make sure they have a very limited time that they can stop and perform in front of the judges. And so they have to stick within that time limit to make sure that they don't go over or they get docked points. A you know variety what? of categories, too, right. that they'll be judging on, right? Yes, yes. Like I said, it can be um, adherence to theme. It can be safety. It can be... But, but in terms of... For Businesses. Oh, sure, absolutely. Realty. Categories, yeah. yes. Yeah. So yeah. we'd have the family division, the um, trades division, organizations, drill teams, bands, schools. We've got a lot. These guys are in a league of their own, yeah. the Flying Wedge at the Jackson County Sheriff's Department. As we are underway, the parade has actually been working its way down. It's been on for a while. It's just now reaching us here in Midtown near Westport. Uh, any other judges of note that you'd like to mention? I mean, we have a great crew. And, we have and again, you don't have to be Irish. Everybody's Irish Everybody's today. Everybody's Irish on St. Patrick's Day. You know, it's just a variety of folks. We've got Sharon Martin, born and raised in South Kansas City. She went to O'Hara High School. She's going to be very busy today looking and judging these floats because they're just, they're really fabulous. And they're different categories as well, as you right. mentioned, the business, and then you've got the, the dancers, and I can't wait to see some Irish dancers coming up here as well. You've also got uh, Deacon Mike McLean. 
from St. Elizabeth's, my oh. church, my home church, my home parish. Deacon Very good. Levine. All right. And then you've got, uh, gosh, Damien O'Reilly, born in Wet County, Westmeath. And Jody Watson, uh. the lone piper, is making his way down oh, the parade route. He's Aaron? got Looking quite good. the headpiece on today. <laughs> we sure love Jody. He's been leading our parade for years and years and years. I, I don't think it would feel like a parade without Jody no. starting it off. He is uh, plays the bagpipes, as we mentioned, and um, has just been a great supporter of our parade every year. He had his parade air kiss down. He had his parade wave. He's got <laughs> he has got it down. That is down. for sure. Here's the, uh, the fire department honor guard with the colors today as they pass by our booth and the judges. And coming up right behind them is the Jackson County Sheriff's Mounted Posse. Absolutely, their ambassadors uh, started in 1947 to serve the county sheriff, of course, Mike our sheriff, current yeah. sheriff. Sheriff, I spoke with him this morning at Brown's Market in Delhi, and I just kind of caught him off guard. I said, hey, you're wearing green, because his <laughs> uniform is green. <laughs> sheriff worked Sharp. out well for him. Always be on the sheriff's good side, as we like to you say. You have to be, right. you have to be. And of course, they look so regal, don't they? The posse yeah. does on yes. those horses. Hello, we salute you. Beautiful horses. They've got little shamrocks, it looks like. There's our sheriff. On their head. <laughs> Love him. These, uh, this posse, by the way, that you see here, they are involved in the community as well. Not just things like search and rescues and uh, help with crowd control, but they show up at fundraising events, horse shows. Uh, they're really, they're really giving back to yeah. the county that they serve as well. We we prefer seeing them at things like this <laughs> than law enforcement matters. Absolutely, sure. great looking crew. Well, I mean, but they have a job to do. But then they go above and beyond by helping the community with all those events. I want to ride that horse. <laughs> <laughs> you you might have a chance. No, you got to stay. Sit, I gotta sit. Darn it, darn it. And of course, hello to Ed Adams because he's this year's captain for the Jackson County Sheriff's Mounted Posse. Oh, look at the one. They have the little shamrocks. Little shamrocks on their ears, those horses. You're watching live here on Fox 4 and fox4kc.com our coverage of this 45th annual St. Patrick's Day Parade as we say hello to you from our vantage point. You know, one of the great things that we, uh, great advantages we have is uh, parking wasn't a problem, no. and, and we get a front row seat. <laughs> I haven't do. been here since 4 a.m. I don't know about why well, you've been working since 4 a.m., but we really do have a great uh, view, almost identical to the judges, uh, so we'll be sharing that. You even have a better view at home in high definition or at work on your computer or tablet watching with us. We're glad to have you along. And, you know, we were talking to Adrian Farrell, who's the Irish consulate, and he said that they have the largest parade, you know, in Ireland, in Dublin. I said, oh, no. <laughs> Correction, <laughs> Kansas City you has will see the today. largest parade. Yes, we do. <laughs> Sorry, Adrian. Yeah, he is here with us. We'll see him here momentarily. He's got quite a schedule. We'll talk about yeah. that uh, when he gets here. Aaron, what uh, what's the number this year in terms of entries? How does it compare to parades past? So we have 137 entries, and uh, that's that's a pretty average number for us. We um, we often get an influx, of course, on the weekends, but we also try to be um, selective, I would mm -hmm. say, in entries that we allow in the parade because we want it to be great and entertaining, and um, sometimes is when you get a weekend parade. We get a lot more people who want to be involved, so we're pretty excited, happy with that 137 very good. number for sure. <laughs> I think we've got 20-some uh, organizations, and they always have fun floats and ideas. We've got, I think, 11 families. Um, and of course, I'm going to lose all my other numbers of how many entries. What is, what is marvelous, too, is we've got all our men and women in blue and brown and green yes. protecting the crowd. We've got to you know, salute them. And we always have wonderful crowds at these parades. We great, really do. Great crowds. Uh, Missouri Highway Patrol is uh, coming by right now as we get ready to see some more of the parade, including really a treat for all of us is the St. Andrew Pipes and Drums. They're coming along here in a moment. I you believe guys. I can hear them down <laughs> yes. there. You can always hear them see? before you can see them. And you know, the pipes and drums, what's so cool about them, this is the 55th year as the band in the area, and they've got musicians as young as 14 to 70, so that's something they can all share. And that's what St. Patrick's Day is about, too. You've got people of all ages sharing the wonderful time that you have on St. Patrick's Day. That's what it's all about. Yes, and we actually honored them with a Lifetime Achievement Award oh. years back um, when there's when we have entries who tend to be the winners every year or most years, right. and they have a lot of history with us. We then honor them with the Lifetime Achievement Award that they're recognized with every year, which means they're not judged by the judges. They can relax. They, they can, can relax a little, right. um, okay. but that certainly doesn't hinder the performance they give every year. They're always a fan favorite. You know, I just wonder what it's like to walk all that way 
you know, you're playing your instrument, you're walking all that way. That's uh, that's got to be tough. What do you think? Can the we Irish do it, are tough. You they know? are tough. It takes I'm a, a lot wimp. of stamina. <laughs> I'm a wimp. I like sitting right here and watching everybody work for me for a change, and that's what we're doing. But we're working for you, bringing you this live coverage here in Kansas City. If you're watching on the web in Ireland or New York or yeah. wherever, one of the largest St. Patrick's Day parades in the country. Uh, we don't know what the numbers will be today, but on a beautiful day like this, temperatures in the 60s, a light cloud cover, it is a gorgeous day. We have a lot of families and folks in uh, the area in Midtown celebrating St. Patrick's yes. Day and having a great time with us this 45th annual modern day St. Patrick's Day parade. Now it starts at Linwood and Broadway, and if you drive down, just as we were coming down, it was about 10 to 15 people thick on each yeah. side. So that gives you an idea all the way down to 33rd Street. Yes, and the great thing, you know, so we moved to this route nine years ago. We were talking about that earlier that I cannot believe it's been nine years. I was lucky enough to be the senior co-chair that year. Wow. And what was so fun and unexpected and something we hadn't even thought about was just that this route is so wide. The sidewalks are wide. There's a lot of areas with just grassy hills where people can sit on. So there's so much space for those who are coming to the parade to enjoy themselves, which is just that much more exciting. People are in a great well, mood. And the history of Westport and the yes, history of and Midtown. In, yeah. It's, it's so many of the, the Irish, Irish settled yes. here. So yes. it just makes sense. It's kind of like the ghosts of the Irish are here with us. Today. Yes, this area actually used to be referred to as the Kerry Patch, referring to County Kerry because there were so many Irish immigrants who moved here to Kansas City and really built so many of the buildings in the Midtown area, including a lot of Westport, Redemptress Church, that was built by Irish immigrants. And so this the roots here are just pretty strong. Yeah, the, rock, the rock came from the rock quarry where our station is, Mr. John Holt. Uh, we are built on top of the rock quarry. Solid as a yes, rock. Here's the are. Kansas City's Andrew Pipes and Drums. We told you they were coming. Enjoy them for a few moments here. <laughs> the St. Andrews Pipes and Drums celebrating their 55th year. Anywhere and 14 to 70, and like I said, they're rocking and rolling. There's the mayor of our fair city. There he is. It's always such an honor to have the mayor join us each year. Rocking the green bow tie. Always yeah. rocking his green bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks of for joining course. us, Mayor James. <laughs> Good to have the mayor with us, Mayor Sly O. James, o. James today yes, absolutely. on this St. Patrick's Day, 45th year of celebrating here in Kansas City. Tell you what, we are about 15 minutes in. We're going to take a quick break, but you can continue to follow on fox4kc.com. And we'll be back as we continue live coverage. It's peace, love, Irish. Don't go away. doesn't just drive, Kansas City drives McCarthy because we give you a pre-owned destination at all four McCarthy Chevy locations. Shop over 500 pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs, including 85 Chevy certified pre-owned vehicles, all inspected and protected by a factory warranty. There's a pre-owned vehicle for every budget, plus fast and easy financing, and you always get 120% of book value for your trade at all four McCarthy Chevy locations. Drive in today or visit us at kccars.com. Hi, I'm Chad with House Buyers KC, and I want to buy your house as is. No repairs needed, saving you time and money. Even if it's ugly, pretty, vacant, occupied, payments current or behind, it doesn't matter. You don't have to hire a real estate agent, hold open houses, repair or clean your home, and I'll save you thousands. No repair costs, no commissions, and we can close in as little as seven days. Call now, 913-777-4444, housebuyerskc.com. If you've been hurt in a car accident, a fall, or any kind of accident, you may be entitled to money. Get the money you deserve for your injuries. Call the Lawyers Group. Call 1-800-677-2020. 
The call is free. The advice is free. Call 1-800-677-2020. If you've been hurt in any kind of accident, Lawyers Group is waiting for your call. Call toll-free 1-800-677-2020. All right, we are back now. Man, it's a beautiful day. The 45th Annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. Everybody having a good time here? Yes, they are. All right, so it's just fabulous so far what we've seen with those pipers. I love it. How about you guys? you have a favorite so far? You know, they're all my favorites <laughs> because it's a beautiful day, and we're all together here. It's like the entire city has come together to celebrate St. Patrick's Day as we welcome many of our local leaders who are now making their way by the parade set. We don't judge them, though, do we? No, okay. they don't get right. judged. They All just right. get to be here as our honored guest, and they are honored. We're always so appreciative. They get judged every day anyway. Right. So <laughs> they need no a break from that. No judging city council members today. <laughs> Remember, yes. it's well, peace and love. Peace and yes. love, exactly. We peace always, you know, I always love seeing Mayor James here and the city council, and we just are always so appreciative of their support very and supportive. support of Jackson County. Um, we're very lucky to have the support of the city. A lot of people mistakenly think that this parade is actually put on by the city and, and a city-run event, but it's not. We are an independent 501c3 group that puts this on every year. And we're hitting it out of the ballpark now. Looky Frank there. White, was that good? That was and very that was good. Said good I transition. Very you said good. I couldn't talk about sports. County Executive <laughs> Hi, Frank. Frank White, also Royal Hall of Famer and his family. Good to see you, and sir. And past Grand Marshal. Yeah. Go. Frank was our Grand Marshal a few years ago, and now he is Jackson County Executive, and we're lucky to have him. <laughs> no wonder he has that parade wave down. He has yeah, experience, he right? There you go. All right. All right, all right. We welcome you to our live coverage here on Fox 4 and fox4kc.com as we get ready to uh, get into the heart of this parade. And the judges will begin their work here, uh, I mean, earnestly, because uh, once the Hi, city leaders get by, we'll start to get the floats and the various participants or competitors in today's parade. There'll be some high steppers, too. One of the really fun things about this parade is the the, uh, the, the drill teams that come yes. through, the kids that are part of the parade. Fun for them. I mean, it, that's energy, too, walking from Linwood and all the way down yeah. here performing. That's I don't crazy. know how they do it. I do not know how they do it. That is for sure. So, you know, one of the things we had been talking, we mentioned, and I wanted to share because he's coming up this way, but we are so fortunate to have Adrian Farrell with us this year. He's the Consulate General of Ireland, and he flew down to Kansas City from Texas where he is stationed and to be with us in our parade and it's really an honor to have him with us. His role is to really help build stronger political, economic, cultural links between Ireland and the U.S. and he certainly does a great job so he's going to be coming up here oh, there pretty he soon. There he is. I just have to correct him. Adrian Farrell, there he is, Consul General of Ireland. Adrian, this is the largest parade. This is the largest parade, right? Do you believe us now that yeah, this is the largest see? parade? <laughs> <laughs> all, all the way from uh, that little Irish burg of Austin, Texas. <laughs> right. And he has to depart, Aaron, you were saying, because he has another event to exactly. get to today. He's a busy guy. This is part of his territory. Yes. So I am so excited. Helen Mahurin, oh. our Irish queen, is with us today. Her balloon here is yeah. honoring her late husband, Tom. Mm -hmm. And we are so lucky to have Helen be here with us today. It was a Fantastic. warm enough day that she was able to get out and be with us. She's there in the driver's seat. You can Aww. see her appropriate yes. tiara there that she's wearing. And of course, her husband, as you mentioned, or we were going to mention the 2000 Grand Marshal of the parade. And you know, everybody's Irish, even the dogs. If Eli can show <laughs> yes. the dogs, you got the little old dachshunds and they've got green on and big German Shepherd yes. over there with they're just hilarious and Helen's done so much to support the parade and the Irish community over the years She's the and grandmother she is she is the grandmother or yeah. our Irish Queen as we like to go. say <laughs> and they appreciate the fact that it's not too windy today the balloon is behaving yes it is here on Broadway in Midtown as our parade's underway and so Aaron, have, these are a couple of special <laughs> folks aren't say, they huh? there would be no parade if we didn't have these ladies today Look Melissa Rohr and Tracy Myers Keeling. They are our senior and junior coach here this year, and I have to say, they are um, joined by two of the cutest little boys on the planet, one of them being my <laughs> godson, Aiden go. and Garrett Simonich, oh. whose mom, Carrie Simonich, uh, was Carrie Mahoney before mm -hmm. this. She's been a part of this parade since she was little. I think you know her dad, John. I think so. I believe so. And they came all the way uh, from Omaha to be with us today and get to good. ride with the Grand Marshals. Awesome. So we're excited to have them, and we thank um, Melissa and Tracy for all their hard work. All right, so we've got the Ancient Order of Hibernians, Irishman of the Year, Joe Flanagan. Where are you, Joe? 
There he is. Very good. There you are, Joe. <laughs> I say he's sitting on top of the Joe, car. Joe, you look great with that sash. 2017 Hibernian of the Year. Congratulations. And he's leading the troop. Look at them all walking along. It looks great. We've got a strong turnout by the Ancient Order of Hibernians. This is the Patrick Pierce Division. They're the Missouri AOH, as we kind of casually refer to them. And so the Hibernians, what they do is they bring everybody together here. And it's for community and peace and love in Irish. And yes. one of the oldest Irish Catholic organizations in the city right now right, that you're seeing here. And Joe will soon be assuming the role of the president, State Order of the Hibernians. Did you know that? I did not. Well, I'm telling Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Or I condolences, always, depending on how much work it is. Right? <laughs> right. I always <laughs> love seeing them parade by in their golf carts. It's, it's always fun in their... Oh, decorated the golf cards. You know, you see old friends here, like the Lillises. And the Fitzgeralds drive right there. Drive carefully in that golf cart. Yeah. Who else are we watching? But isn't this cool? Everybody gets in on it. The whole family. We've seen all, all sorts of Fitzgeralds going by. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure who has more fun, the big kids or the little kids. I think everybody's I think a little kid. Yeah, yeah, just so like too. everybody's Irish on St. Patrick's Day, I, I think so. everybody's a kid. Think kid at heart. Correct. Hi, guys. Oh, and I see some Scanlins. Hi. Who do you see? A lot of them. Just, just name off some names. It's Ryan, like a parade uh, of, uh, of Irish families. <laughs> I see Judy Scanlon over there. And you hear the crowds as they are yelling, and it's just wonderful. And very soon, we're going to be coming up. You know, we talked about the Ancient Order of Hibernians, the Men's Division. Now we're going to be talking about the Ladies, the ladies John. Division, yeah. And they get together and do a lot of good work. And they are in a trolley. And they'll be coming up to us right after the last golf cart. You know, the ladies are smarter than the guys. They get a trolley. <laughs> it is true. You know? They like to ride in style. That's for sure. They know how to do it. They know how to do it. So here they are in their trolley. And these ladies are great. They really devote themselves to maintaining the Irish traditions of faith, culture, heritage, Irish unity. And they support a lot of charitable orga yeah. organizations throughout the year and um, just really offer a lot to the Irish community and the Kansas City community at large. The common but theme you see with these groups is many of them are involved in the community mm -hmm. at large. Uh, with the charity Hello, and community yes. service. And yes, they're you guys look beautiful. looking terrific. You look beautiful. Well, that's the thing is they're, they're able to be together as the Ancient Order of Hibernians, the ladies division, but then they also are able to reach out and they use what they do and help everybody else out. So that's yeah. great. Like now Bishop Sullivan cross, Center. We're going to cross the state line now and uh, meet the Ancient Order of Hi Hibernians. Uh, this is the Father Bernard Donnelly Division. The only Hibernian division in the state of Kansas. And they just started. They're relatively new, I mean, in, in the world of, of Irish organizations. They formed in 2002, so that's only 15 years old, which in the world of yeah. Irish organizations, they're just babies. And what's hilarious is, okay, so they look great. They've got their bagpipes. I love bagpipes. And the thing is that they're going to have very soon a fire truck. And I was just at Governor Stumpy's this morning, John. You for were. For breakfast at, uh, I think we were there at 5 a.m. Oh, my. So Governor Stumpy's, they've been up all night. And Kevin Ryan brought along, brought along his fire truck for these guys. So, oh, look at the small little drummers. They're so cute. Kevin's got a shot on him right now. Aww. They're starting him young, doing it right. It just the music just gives you pride. It makes you move, doesn't it? It, it, I mean, I, I can't move this early, <laughs> but, but yes. <laughs> and, you know, I was mentioning that they're a fairly young organization in the history of Irish organizations, but in that short time, they've managed to do so much for the, for the community. They do a lot for the Harvester's Food Bank, um, various charities, including Children for Peace in Ireland, Operation Breakthrough. Mm -hmm. um, just like, you know, nationally, the Ancient Order of Hibernians are always just so dedicated to giving back and, and helping the community. Which... Yep. Great group. Passing by here, the Kansas version, the Father Bernard Donnelly Division of the Ancient Order of Hibernians. And next up is a guy who's pretty familiar. Or well, Denny Denahan. There he is. There he is. Hi. How are you? Wonderful musician. 2016 Hibernian of the Year in Kansas. And uh, he's got the surnames of his four grandparents, Mahoney. Denahan, Brennan, and Roach. You can't get much more Irish than that. That's a big kid every day, trust me. <laughs> I, I know him well. Good to see you, Denny. And here comes that fire truck. 
that Kathy was mentioning, driven by oh, Kevin no. Ryan. Oh, here he comes. Oh, there, oh Lord, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Kevin's such a great supporter of the oh. Irish community. In fact, Governor Stumpy's even donated the food for our dignitary reception yesterday. They let him drive? So they're drive? always giving us, I know, it's they a scary thought. They let him thought. drive? Wow. <laughs> he needs to stay in the driver's seat. <laughs> Kevin, stay in the driver's seat. <laughs> Hi, Kathleen. <laughs> Hello, Governor Stumpy's. Great looking antique fire truck, of course. Fire departments all across the country with a great Irish heritage, and this group is of yeah, no Absolutely, exception. absolutely. I think some of them have been at Governor Stumpy since 5 a.m. Looks like they're having fun. You know, we're coming up uh, a really special person. Her name is Diane Price, and she is honored this year as our Irish flag bearer. You'll see there she's riding and carrying the flag. And this is an honor that's given each year to a committee member and somebody that we just want to honor that we feel like has gone above and beyond. And Diane is certainly that person this year that has gone above and beyond. So uh, this is always one of my favorite moments of the parade when we get to recognize and honor uh, that committee member. And this year it is Diane Price. And Congratulations, Diane. Green Mustang. Look at yeah. that. That is Riding awesome. in style. Cool ride. And by the way, we're making a little history with the Grand Marshal this year, oh. I understand. <laughs> we yes. are. Grand Marshals. You may notice it's not a single Grand Marshal this year. We have got a very large group joining us, and it's the Gaelic Athletic Club of Kansas City, the Kansas City Gaelic Athletic Club. They, uh, they, they are experts on the sports of uh, Gaelic football and hurling, and uh, we are really proud of them this year, yes. um, and that is why we have them as our Grand Marshals. They, you know, I, I like to say, when most of Kansas City was still on the high of the Royals winning the World Series, the Irish community was on a high because the Gaelic Athletic Club won the cup, the big cup, which is about as big, big as it gets when you're right. in the United big, States. Big round of so. applause. Big there round of applause for our world champions. I'm just a universal champion. Yeah. There they are. So congratulations <laughs> to our 2017 Grand Marshals, the Gaelic Athletic Club. That's unique to have them. They're just fabulous. I was talking to them I earlier. think they're still celebrating that championship <laughs> with it. It was great. All right, we're going to continue with our live coverage here along the parade route, our 45th annual St. Patrick's Day Parade, Kansas City style. Yes. Hashtag KC Irish Parade on Fox 4, fox4kc.com. Oh, all right, we won't take a break right now. Oh, okay, <laughs> Sullivan family stopping right now. Yeah. Yes, and well, I'm so glad we get the chance to talk okay, about them. Let's do so it. So you mentioned earlier the Mike Murphy, uh, or I'm sorry, the uh, Cullinan Family Spirit Award. Mm -hmm. So PJ and Molly Cullinan were a wonderful Irish couple that raised their family here in Kansas City when they immigrated to the United States. And they really raised their children with this spirit of volunteerism and support of the Irish community. So when they passed away, we decided to honor them by creating this award, the Cullinan Family Spirit Award. And it goes to a family that's similar to the Cullinans that really instill that value of volunteering and support of the Irish community. And this year, I couldn't be happier to say that it is the Sullivan family, the Bob and Kathleen Sullivan family. I've known them since I was young in high school. <laughs> and uh, they... They are just wonderful. They, they volunteer for so much in the community. Irish Fest, they're a big part of. Yeah. And um, they're just really great well, people. Bob was a founder uh, and past president of the Irish Fest, so. He was, he was, yes. Major part of the Irish here in Kansas City, so that's wonderful. Congratulations to the Sullivan family. And the first of many of the award winners we'll see as they come through uh, past and present. So congratulations to the well-deserved Sullivan family as we continue with yeah. police. Love Irish. <laughs> I see a couple of the guys right in front of us here, the blue. They're taking good care of us as well. Right. You know, there are different divisions, too. So we're going to be starting with the Westport division coming up in just a, a few moments. We'll see some folks there. So, um, And, you know, Kathy, I just family. have to say, the reason we call it the Westport division is because Westport is our generous presenting sponsors. When they found out we were bringing the parade to their neighborhood, they said, sign us up. We good. want to support you however we can. So they are our presenting sponsor of the parade today, and they're also our official after party. So I know oh. there is going to be a lot of fun things 
things going on in Westport at the bars and restaurants there. I think and, so. And uh, we're really? just, yeah, you think? <laughs> really? You think uh, something's going on? You're going to work, John. There's a party in Westport? <laughs> Nobody told me. <laughs> and kicking off the Westport division. <laughs> I'm not feeling very good right now. <laughs> kicking off the Westport divi division is the Reardon, Burke, Soden, Lillis, and McGee families. Wow. They're all related. You I nailed mean, that. Unbelievable. Well done. Guess why they get to be the, num the first float in the Westport because division? Because they won last year. They won grand prize last year. And they are related to everybody. Let's see, I babysat several of those people. Yes, I did. I mean, this community, the Irish community here is so close. And I always love seeing them every year because they always take our theme and put their own spin on it. So I'm always excited every year to see what okay, they are see. coming up, coming into. So once again, it's the theme, peace, love, and Irish. Hi, Colleen. And their fun spin on it is police, love, and Irish, recognizing <laughs> yep. the rich history between the Irish and the Kansas City law enforcement community. And so we love that. As we mentioned earlier, we oh love our God. police. So we love our families that recognize them. They have fun, man. Look at that. They do have a good time <laughs> in their tie-dye shirts. <laughs> And truly, they're all related, John. Everybody? That's a large clan, yeah, as you would say. How about that? Thank you, KCPD. It's a modern day mod squad that they would be so proud of. Showing support <laughs> for our men and women in blue who are helping out with the green today. We appreciate, as you mentioned, uh, the highway patrol, sheriffs, police, and they are being yeah. honored by this crew today. Police love Irish. Yes. A play on our peace love Irish theme <laughs> today as we continue with the Westport Division here along the parade route. Boy, there's a cool looking car. Look at that, the Corvair. Oh, I got a figure. Nice. You see some really cool cars going through here. I don't know. I think that, that they might be it for the families, the Lillis and all of them, they may get it. Uh, who knows? I, I would be surprised if they didn't get something. Weird so, you know, I mentioned that Westport's our presenting sponsor, and we're so lucky to have a lot of sponsors like Fox 4. Casey 102 is one of those sponsors, and they've actually partnered with Westport this year for their entry. Oh. And we're so excited to have them, one of my favorite radio stations in Kansas City, and one of a great supporters for us. I see a lot of my friends down there, Brian Truda, Shaley. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, we've got a great morning show that they've got, The Show, with Jen and Truda. Right. And so we're so thankful for their support every year. They're part of the Steel City Media Group. And love that bus. That is cool, That man. is celebrating yeah. some peace, love, and Irish right there for sure. Hey, All coming right. up, how about, now you're not going to see much green here, a lot of purple, but it's purple pride as we welcome the Lewisburg High School Marching Wildcat Band, 38 years under the direction and of John Cicetti. And, and guess what? these folks are headed yes. to Pasadena. They are going to be headed to the 2018 Tournament of Roses Parade. Big round of applause for these guys. How about that? Let's listen in as the Lewisburg High School Marching Wildcats march right by us. doesn't just drive, Kansas City drives McCarthy because we give you a pre-owned destination at all four McCarthy Chevy locations. Shop over 500 pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs, including 85 Chevy certified pre-owned vehicles, all inspected and protected by a factory warranty. There's a pre-owned vehicle for every budget, plus fast and easy financing, and you always get 120% of book value for your trade at all four McCarthy Chevy locations. Drive in today or visit us at kccars.com. March 17th and 18th, for the first time ever, the LMC Truck Toughest Monster Truck Tour is coming to the Silverstein Ice Center's arena with the king of the monster trucks, Bigfoot. The Toughest Monster Truck Tour, Silverstein Ice Center's arena. If you've been hurt in a car accident, a fall, or any kind of accident, you may be entitled to money. Get the money you deserve for your injuries. Call the Lawyers Group. Call 1-800-677-2020. The call is free. The advice is free. Call 1-800-677-2020. If you've been hurt in any kind of accident, Lawyers Group is waiting for your call. Call toll-free 1-800-677-2020.
March 17th and 18th, for the first time ever, the LMC Truck Toughest Monster Truck Tour is coming to the Silverstein Ice Center's arena with the king of the monster trucks, Bigfoot. The Toughest Monster Truck Tour, Silverstein Ice Center's arena. Oh. Headed to the Tournament of Roses Parade this coming holiday season. The Lewisburg High School Wildcat Marching Band. Led by the same band director for the last 38 no years. No wonder they're good. Well, good luck <laughs> to them. He took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> they look terrific. And I know the kids are excited about heading to the Rose Bowl Parade. First Kansas band to appear in that parade, I think, in a number of years, I was told. So that's exciting. All right, we know this guy, don't we? I think we do. Or we at least know that voice of his. Bill Grady, uh, our Mike Murphy Honorary Irishman of the Year. We're so honored to have him here. And we, we talked about him earlier, so what all the contributions he does with the Irish community really takes, utilizes his role in, in Kansas City Radio to promote and, um, and support <laughs> the Irish community. It looks like you have St. Patrick there in the back seat, but... <laughs> Bill says he's off. No working today, right? You're off. <laughs> You're off now, right? Yeah, he's done. Also, the great voice of the uh, Irish Fest, one of the MCs for the Irish Fest. Bill, good to see you, my friend. We'll have coffee this weekend. I'm sure he's one of my coffee crew oh. guys. And yeah, okay. yeah, we guys get together and drink coffee too, and we talk about you guys. <laughs> That's what we do. Anyway, welcome back to our live coverage, 45th annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. And I oh. have to say. I'm with I Aaron and Kathy, great, and I'm loving it. I had a great night's sleep last night. You want to know why? Why? Because I was staying at the 816 Hotel. Uh. Our next entry here, our parade entry, great parade sponsor. They're so good to us. They deal with our parade committee's Irish shenanigans, and I believe they maybe have some of their guests walking with them today. If I wasn't here with you guys, I'd probably walk with them since I'm staying there. Did you there. have a theme room last night? You know, I didn't, but I'll tell you, I had a room that had just he been said, redone, and it's beautiful. By the That's way, I was going to ask you which room you were in. Last year, I was in the Sporting KC room, okay. and it was very cool. I stayed in the TWA room last night, and t how cool is this? They're growing. They're going to open a 3-1 six hotel in Wichita mm -hmm. wow. and a 402 hotel right. in Omaha. So congratulations to them. Now you mentioned J.E. Dunn. Yes, I did. We got a little preview of what we're about to see here. And okay. here they come. <laughs> Disco with Dunn. First place business winner last year. These folks know how to parade. Well, what's so wonderful about it is J.E. Dunn helped build Kansas City. So, you know, here they are. Here it is appropriate celebrating the Irish that also helped build Kansas exactly. City before their time. Hi, guys. And this is a great example of a business or an entry adhering to theme, as we like to say. Celebrating the Irish, celebrating there peace, is. love, and Irish, especially the peace part of it. And you'll see it when it comes by. Mr. Dunn was dressed in three different <laughs> outfits, and he was such a great sport. Isn't he a wonderful guy, Mr. Dunn? And I'm kind of thinking this group's maybe like Mr. Dunn's little leprechauns yeah, here. Right. Yeah, I see a little leprechaun there in the wagon. <laughs> that's, a, that's a heck of a ride, young man. I want to I ride along. And, and you, there it is. You can see on their float, they've got the big J.E. Dunn crane holding a disco, disco ball. ball. Disco with Dunn, Perfect, John. perfect. There they are. Things like this, we were told this took, uh, gosh, several weeks to build. And, you know, a lot of work goes into it. Yes. You know, some of these floats, including Dunn, you know, they start really far out. And, and they want to make sure they're done building about a week out in case they've got anything to tweak at the last minute like you, they did with you when you, you know were with what, them, Kathy. You know what, though? It's J.E. Dunn. They know how to build things. <laughs> That's right. If anybody knows how to build a float, it's <laughs> probably J.E. Dunn. They know what they're doing. All right, here comes the Mid-Continent Public Library. And, oh, boy, we're in for a good time here. Second place winner last year. And I think we, we may have some librarians with carts about to dance for us. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> here we go. They usually have a pretty fun little routine they do for the judges. Oh, here they go, getting into line. <laughs> Boring librarians, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Mid-Continent Public See, Library. You'll notice the way their take on the theme, you'll notice some uh, alien looking costumes with sign that says, we come in peace. <laughs> ah, yes. So, because they, they have this whole, um, they have this whole theme now of getting kids to read where they use this cute, adorable alien character. And, uh, and they have a program called Rocket to Reading, so, or Reading Rocket. So um, what a great, fun, cute way to in include the theme. Again, the theme is peace, love, Irish. Irish. 
Hi, Reading Rockets. <laughs> Next up, the O'Connor family. They've been a part of this since 1977. First place family winner last year. Yeah, they, they were, and you can always count on the Mike O'Connor family to do something really fun and really exciting. And it doesn't. It looks like they are not going to be disappointing this year. They, they've come a long way from that very first float with just chicken wire and crepe paper, and they are celebrating Irish American heritage and family, always a top priority on St. Patrick's Day. And this is what they've got: four generations of O'Connors who helped build this float. Four generations, we salute you, O'Connor. And this is kind of their bonding experience, you know, building this, the float, the float build as they start, kind of really kicks off the parade season and is just a really great, fun <laughs> Irish tradition for this family. But you notice with these family floats, you get the, the huge crowds that are either before them or after them because they all get in on it. <laughs> Nobody wants to miss it. Not at all. And St. Patrick is here. He's bringing up the rear. Here he comes. He's, he's driving them down Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good to see the O'Connor family. And here comes somebody that's green year round, and they deal with the green, Kansas City's own H&R Block. They're going to get real busy here real soon. I, I was going to say, I'm surprised they have time to yeah. take out to be in the parade because this is certainly their busy season. They've been in the parade uh, for the past few years, and we are always excited to welcome them because we do know, do know it's their busy season, so it's fun to have them join us. And I know one of their uh, folks that works with them used to work with us, Sharita Hutton. Yes. Sharita, so we'll see. There they are. Happy St. Patrick's Day, guys and Beautiful gals. Beautiful downtown Kansas City headquarters, right in the heart of it all, and they are in the heart of our parade here in the Westport Division as we continue. 45th annual Kansas City St. Patrick's Day parade, watching live <laughs> on Fox 4 and streaming live on Fox 4. KC.com. You know, we got to mention our photographers and all our engineers because they're fabulous. They're out here and it's heavy cameras that they carry and you've got folks just working around the clock. It takes a lot of time to put this together too. We're just sitting here. They're actually working. They're <laughs> actually all the walking fun. the parade route themselves. Hello, Dale Carter. And, and we've got another one of our great pre-sponsors, KFKF Country 94.1 and Dale Carter. Ed Walker, I see up there. <laughs> Dale, <laughs> I see you. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I see an Irish Elvis. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we got, Hi. we got everything going there. Oh, wow. We are so grateful for KFKF support every year. Again, one of our uh, four radio partners. We saw KC102 earlier, mm -hmm. and we'll see their other two soon. But we're just grateful for their support every year. Let's talk about Go for the Green, because this is a big part Let's of what this parade is Yes, so yeah. for the last, I believe, 33 years, we have been partnering with Harvesters, who you see right now um, in the parade. We have a, the Go for the Green food drive, where we uh, raise money, raise food uh, throughout the parade season. And of the last few years, we've had some um, businesses and organizations get involved in where they can compete to see who uh, raises the most money. <laughs> and then last year, we started this new thing called the Harvesters. Harvesters go for the green fan favorite award. So this is to everybody that's watching and along the parade route, watching live on TV right now or streaming on their computers. So as you're watching all these entries go by, you have to pick out which ones are your favorite. And then you go online to kcirishparade.com. You can vote for your favorite with a dollar donation to Harvesters. And whichever entry gets the most votes with those donation wins the Harvesters Fan Favorite Award. All right. So you can look on, on online and we'll get more information on that. But right now, the Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate Kansas City Homes, they are going for the green with their annual playhouse. And this is really cool. It's a centerpiece of their float, but they give it away annually. And that's what's so neat about it. And today, the parade theme of peace, love, and Irish and what's yeah, great, the reason they like to celebrate Go for the Green is because the way they give it away is that when you vote for them and when you donate to their Go for the Green campaign, you're entered to win that clubhouse. And they have won a uh, fan favorite and they've raised the most money for many years. So uh, we are excited to have them back. All right, we were talking earlier about dancers. I can't wait for the Irish dancers, and I believe they're about to come up to us right now. We get our first group of Irish dancers mm -hmm. for sure. The Dowd's Irish Academy coming up as we uh, let the Better Homes and Gardens folks go by. Talk about busy. Real estate's hot right now, so we appreciate them being a part of it. Here they are, Dowd's. This is a this is a fun group. An Irish jig about to happen here. Dowd's Irish Dance Academy. First place winners in the school category last year, located in the heart of Kansas City. 
Let's listen in as they dance a jig for us here and the judges along the parade route. Hello, Dowds. Here we go. Oh, they're going to get off. Great job to the course, girls with Dowds. The instructor is a former river dance performer, so uh -huh. can't no go wonder they did such that. a good job. Uh -huh. I noticed one of them's got a sash that says she's a world qualifier. That's a big deal. It's not Huge. easy to qualify for worlds. No. So congratulations to her. You know, every parade needs Irish dancers followed up by a hearse. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't imagine not having that in your parade. <laughs> well, if I'd be dancing, that's what I would need after <laughs> I'm right. dancing. <laughs> Me too. We are excited to have McGilly Funeral Home with us. They're great supporters. They let us use their parking lot and our staging areas. Love the McGilly. So it's great to have them. What a neat, old-fashioned hearse they've got behind them, pulled a by the horses. A little new and the old right there, isn't it? That's fantastic. McGilly Memorial Ch uh, Chapels serving the area since 1899. Thrilled to have them be a part of this year's 45th annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. Hope you're enjoying it as much as we are as we continue here in the Westport Division. And now we're going to get some real Irish workers to join us. Here they are. The United Auto Workers, they were first place trade winners in 2016. So we knew they'd have a great entry this year. We're excited to have them again. Look at that. Peace, love, and Irish. Spirited the UAW, group. UAW, big group this year. They With built that Ford F-150. You may have heard yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe a few times. Truck. They're hard workers. And, you know, we, we so appreciate our trades that come to the parade. I mean, you know, trades and unions like that, that's so strong in the Irish community. And so it really is great when they join us and celebrate the Irish. And there they go. And, of course, that... Uh, F-150, the best-selling truck for 38 years in a row. The Claycomo yeah. Ford plant, proud to have them part of our Metro <laughs> Transit, the Ford F-150. Keep it going. And our workers who are joining us on this St. Patrick's Day. Hey, I feel things sizzling right now. I How about too. you guys? Uh, I can feel it, literally. Casey Marching Sizzler is first place winners in the drill team category in 2016. Nonprofit established in 97, 20 years, and still going strong. We're going to listen to them for a moment. Here we go. because we give you a pre-owned destination at all four McCarthy Chevy locations. Shop over 500 pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs, including 85 Chevy certified pre-owned vehicles, all inspected and protected by a factory warranty. There's a pre-owned vehicle for every budget, plus fast and easy financing, and you always get 120% of book value for your trade at all four McCarthy Chevy locations. Drive in today or visit us at kccars.com. Hi, I'm Chad with House Buyers KC, and I want to buy your house as is. No repairs needed, saving you time and money. Even if it's ugly, pretty, vacant, occupied, payments current or behind, it doesn't matter. You don't have to hire a real estate agent, hold open houses, repair or clean your home, and I'll save you thousands. No repair costs, no commissions, and we can close in as little as seven days. Call now, 913-777-4444, housebuyerskc.com. If you've been hurt in a car accident, a fall, or any kind of accident, you may be entitled to money. Get the money you deserve for your injuries. Call the Lawyers Group. Call 1-800-677-2020. 
The call is free. The advice is free. Call 1-800-677-2020. If you've been hurt in any kind of accident, Lawyers Group is waiting for your call. Call toll-free 1-800-677-2020. All right, we are back now. Is everybody having a good time with the Kansas City St. Patrick's Day Parade? Everybody having a good time? Yeah. I know I am. doing great, I'm telling you. And that music just got me going. And of course, those people are judged when they're doing that. Uh, their uniforms, their, their smiles, their beat. Yes, and again, making sure they follow the rules, that they don't take more time in front of the judges than they're supposed to, and that they get to figure out a way to kind of, you know, incorporate the, the theme of Irish and, you know, the, potentially the theme of the parade. So, um, as you saw, the scissors did a great job with that. Under the direction of Crystal Jackson Thomas, marching to make a difference, and so is this crew, the Knights of Columbus, fourth degree, their float that we'll see here momentarily, a representation of Christopher Columbus, Santa Maria. This group of men, all in fact, Knights chapters yes. all over the Metro, very service oriented. The largest worldwide Catholic men's fraternal organizations is what they are. There they are. They got a crowd on board. <laughs> that, that ship is listing a bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's full. We couldn't nice. have asked for more perfect day to be floating down Broadway. Isn't that the truth? It is beautiful. I feel like I've been floating all day because it's been so gorgeous. Now, you started your day at Brown, so they're going by as well. The North America's oldest Irish business. Brown's Irish Marketplace. And don't forget that host party that they're having. Very family, family oriented if you're uh, headed that way. Now, speaking of families yeah, and children, <laughs> these second graders have more fun than anyone, I think. There the they are. St. Therese oh. School Marching Leprechauns. Sec kids at St. Therese look forward to being in second grade every year. Not just because they get to make their first communion, right? No. <laughs> but because they get to march in the St. Patrick's Day Parade, and it's been a fun tradition for, for our parade to have them each year. Oh, I just got excited. <laughs> Adrian. Adrian Farrell, the Irish consul, was coming up to us. He's going to be coming up to us and talking to us in a moment, but I think we're going to watch St. Charisse right now. Let's watch. Peace, love, Irish, and a day out of school for the second graders at St. Therese. And every year we have the second graders. I, I think moms and dads are having a pretty good time, I too. I think so. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> well, we're glad you're here with us. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And we do have a special guest who's joining us right now here in our broadcast booth. Yes, we've got Adrian Farrell, the Irish Consul for Ireland, of course, the Irish Consul. And I talked to you earlier about the parade in Ireland and what it's like here. And you said they have the largest parade in Ireland, but I'm sorry. Look at our parade. Look I know, at our it's people. huge. It's absolutely, what do you think? it's enormous, isn't it? It's a great parade. Uh, you know, it's perfect. The weather's perfect. The yeah. people are having so much fun, and it's a massive parade. You're absolutely right. So Adrian, I think Kansas City is the new, the new, the new record. The I was going to say, did you parade. have any idea what to expect, and how surprised were you when you went down the route and saw all these well, people? Well, I'd read a little bit about. This is my first Kansas City uh, parade. I'd read a little bit about it, but it's it's a hundred times better. It's just so wonderful. Such a great crowd. Um, I drove up earlier on. It was I, I saw you. It was so 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 great, and uh, the um, the floats are wonderful. I don't envy the judges. They have a really hard job. I think ahead of them. So how does that make you feel? You're from Ireland and you're here and everybody's so proud to be Irish. Does yeah. that even give you an extra boost? It does. It does. It's so, I, I think as I mentioned to you earlier, I mean, Ireland's a pretty small country. It's just four and a half billion people. So it's just so amazing to see so many people out celebrating Irish culture, Irish heritage, and just above all having fun. Adrian, that's, that's tell us thing. about your role as an Irish council. You're from, you live in Austin, Texas, yes. so you have this part of the country. What does that entail for you? Uh, we do a little bit of everything here. Uh, I do a, uh, some trade and economic work. Actually, I bumped into some people from the Kansas City uh, Chamber earlier on who I'd, I'd met before. I've met a few times with the mayor, both here and in Austin. Um, and I have to say, he's a great ambassador for the city. He, uh, 
uh, and I also earlier just thanked him for everything he does for the Irish community in, in Kansas City as well. Um, we also do a lot of uh, communication work. I was here last year. Uh, we celebrated the 1916 centenary, uh, which led to independence in Ireland. Uh, a little bit of everything, promotion, trade, uh, communication, uh, media work. And uh, a little everything. bit of fun when you're A little bit of fun yeah. and also hel helping citizens the odd time. But uh, yeah. this, that fortunately, our citizens here are great. They don't need that much assistance. So, <laughs> Look at this. Uh, so Look at all your Irish We, we do yeah. love our Irish immigrants who come here. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> we do love the Irish that come to the United know, States. We I embrace know. them and, quite and a bit. We're very grateful that Kansas City has, since the very start, uh, has always welcomed its Irish, uh, its Irish and Irish American communities. It's it's just a great place to be Irish. So, yeah. and you have a busy schedule. You're not only taking part in this parade, but you're off to another one before. It's I all am. Over. I really wish I could stay a bit longer. Uh, but uh, San Antonio, the city of San Antonio, Texas, is having a river parade tomorrow, and I'm the grand marshal for that. Oh, so fantastic. I have to uh, get back uh, this evening to be there tomorrow for that. So I really wish I could stay. I think. I'm going to miss a huge party. So next year, I hope. <laughs> We're honored to have you on our stage. Thank oh, you so much. I'm so delighted to be here. Thanks for welcoming me so, 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 so warmly. Yeah? It's great. It's been great to be here. Very Happy St. Patrick's Thank Day. You. Enjoy the rest you of your too. visit here. Thank and you it's so San Antonio. Much. That'll be a fun town for you. Yeah, you it will be. River it will walk. Be we, we, can't all, we, can't, we couldn't do it down Brush Creek. So well, we'll this is just as good, if not better. <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah, we agree. We Thank agree. you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Adrian. Thank you. It's wonderful. Are you going to be okay, Kathy? You're, you're kind of like I'm kind starstruck of here. <laughs> He's so good. As we welcome you back, live coverage here of the 45th annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. We've watched the Kansas City Parks and Rec, James B. Nutter and Bob Hamilton now going by as we celebrate Bob. all things Irish. There's Bob <laughs> taking a bath. Splish splash. There you go. That is awesome. All right. He's got to keep working. He's got 12 kids. Yeah. You know that. <laughs> they'll, they'll clog up a lot of toilets. <laughs> they won't will. They? they sure will. 101 The Fox, home of the Chiefs. They were media winners last year. Classic rock station. You got Slacker in the morning. Slacker was a judge with me, helped out at the Martin City Parade last year. Sunday, so he's got the Irish thing down. This year he gets to take part. There's Casey. Wolf and did he behave? Wolf. That's what I want to uh, know. No comment. What happens in Martin City stays in Martin City. <laughs> right. I was there too. There, Maybe you, that's you their too. even city motto. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's right. Oh, fantastic. All right. The parade continues here in Kansas City. We have another special guest with us, Kathy. We do. I'm so excited to bring Brendan McCormick. I said you were universal champions, world champions. Explain your championship. Well, it's really, uh, it's more universal than anything. Oh, we've lost. Did we lose you? Hey, you're going to have to get close to me. I think you lost me. Okay. Uh, yeah, we are actually the North American champions um, for Gaelic football. For, uh, 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 the Gaelic Football Association is governed in Ireland in uh, Croke Park in Dublin, and uh, so we fall under their jurisdiction, but we have what's called the uh, North American County Board, and uh, we play here for uh, Kansas City, represent Kansas City in our division, and we uh, won the championship this year, this last uh, Labor Day great. weekend in uh, Seattle. And, and we should what? back up and say that Brendan is representing the Gaelic Athletic Club, Club the Kansas City Gaelic yep. Athletic Club, AKA our Grand Marshals. Uh -huh. And we've got the cup up here. I think we got a shot, a shot of it earlier. And so uh, we're just so excited to have you guys with us today. And you've, well, got, you've got folks from all over. You've got people from Ireland that are on the team everywhere. Oh, uh, well, we're well represented. I, I grew up in the Chicago area, and um, we've got a couple of guys from Galway, Ireland, from uh, Tipperary, some guys from Belfast, guy from Waterford, and all over the place. So, uh, and then obviously some transplants and uh, the mix of the Irish guys that have played the game growing up and myself playing since I was little, um, you know, we, the mix of good athletes here in Kansas City, we've uh, put together quite a good team. So we really enjoy it. And, and we're thrilled to be representing Kansas City in the uh, St. Patrick's Day Parade as the Grand Marshal. It's Congratulations, it's a real honor, but you so. got to leave the trophy here. Okay, <laughs> we'll leave it here for a little while. Brendan McCormick, thank you right. so much. Thank you. So I am really excited. We've talked about sponsors one of my favorite sponsors. They're all my favorites, but yeah. this one's a little personal for me coming up the route. You'll see them coming Aww. up here soon. The Kansas City Irish Fest. I'm a little partial because I'm a part of that organization as well. We just saw the Local 42 Kansas City Fire Department go by. We appreciate their support as well. But yes, another proud sponsor. Yes, the Kansas City Irish Fest doing their uh, 
we'll call it a cow jig or something <laughs> like that, uh, being spun around by some crazy Irish Fest committee and board members there. But Irish Fest is a really great supporter of the parade. We're just great partners. We, um, the parade committee helps staff the gates during Irish Fest. So it's a great time. It's Labor Day weekend every year this year. That means it's September 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. KCIrishFest.com. You can get all the information about the bands. We'll start announcing who well, those are soon. There's a band right there, Danny O'Boyle. <laughs> Danny O'Boyle and his bow on. I like to say, I'm so some of my favorite little leprechauns are with Irish Fest every year. So I have <laughs> I to say hi to Seamus Walsh and Josh Sarah. Pryor. Hi, little Kate Regan up on her dad's shoulders there. Molly and Declan McCarthy. We've got all kinds of fun, fun Irish Fest committee members. And I can't believe I it's that's the 15th Brendan Fallis too. <laughs> 15 years it's going to wow. be for the Irish I Fest. I was dizzy watching that cow go round and round. <laughs> so. And I have to say, you know, when we asked the Irish Fest, what do you want us to talk about? Danny Regan, who was on the board and was a um, past president and founder of the Irish Fest, said, well, I think they should know that we've got a pretty good looking board and committee. There you go. <laughs> and they do. And by the way, they, they kick off the Irish Fest division. This is Pure Magic Foundation. They were the winners in the St. Martin or the Martin City Day Parade last Sunday. So they, by virtue of that, join us today here on the parade route for the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Kansas City. Congratulations to Pure Magic. All right. I love families. I love it. And, of course, Pure Magic has an Irish family who runs them. But we are talking about the O'Rourke Sweeney clans. These folks, oh, my goodness. This marks their 37th year in the Kansas City St. Patrick's Day Parade. They're so proud of their Irish heritage, tradition. That's a big part of it, you guys. It's a tradition, the family. And last year they were honored to receive the Lifetime Achievement Award. Yes, I mentioned that earlier when we were um, Hi, talking about the St. Andrew Price and Drum. Sometimes you have an entry who is so good that they've won so many times <laughs> that you finally retire them from being judged and you say, okay, you guys get Lifetime Achievement Award and the Work Sweeney clans uh, were the recipients of that last year. So they get to just relax and have fun today. Translation, translation. Let somebody else win. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how that works? Okay. Quit hogging the prizes. <laughs> right. So we're excited to have them and they always have a very fun float that they put together each year and they get to just enjoy themselves because the judges aren't judging them this year. They've earned it. 37th year yep. of being a part. And, and this is 45 years old, so they've Aww. been with us almost all the way. All right, Look at this. so we talk about the theme, yep. Peace, Love, Irish. Miss Molly Sheehan right there, Molly Corkle, is holding the sign that <laughs> Katie's says Katie's behind her in there, I think. Okay. okay. <laughs> and, of course, Sheehan means peace in Irish. Yes. I don't know how to say it, but I know that's what it means. Close enough. <laughs> Hi, Close girls. Enough. And they oh. just... I yeah. think you may recognize some of the people coming towards us. I know I sure do. By golly. Who are those people? Uh, I, let me see they here. They look a little familiar. Uh, that might be my partner, I think Dominique. So. Welcome. She, this is her rookie parade. Dominique and Lauren leading Dominique's the rookie parade here in Kansas yeah. City. Oh my yes. gosh! Well, welcome. Hi, Dominique. Hi, Lauren. We miss you. She's got the parade air kit down, <laughs> too. I love it. I did love you teach it. Her? Well done. I think you did. Well done. And I have to say, it's so oh, fun smile. seeing Carly come. Carly's taking our picture. I remember back in the day when we first started this, Carly would be one of our reporters yep. on the street running around and getting interviews. So Thank you for the here weather. She is. Now she's just fancy riding in the parade that with might, Mike. That might be the most popular car. <laughs> and, and here's Rob and Mary for our weekend crew. Love them. Good to see you guys. Every and Mark and Mark. Abby. Mark and, Ab Mark and Abby what? bringing up the rear. Who is that guy? He's not quite. Is Abby awake? Is she still awake? Oh, I see Abby. Uh, barely, yeah. yeah but who's that, who's that guy she's with? <laughs> Mark. Um, oh, Alford. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> No, Mark, Mark you Alford. can't win a prize. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Joe's getting guys, comfy Nicole, there. Joe. Fox Force, Joe, Joe Gloria, is... Nicole, they're having a great time, too. And, of and course, bringing up the rear, Storm Fox. Mm -hmm. Damon, but, there but, you are. But, but Thank you, the, Damon. But when the weather hits, Storm Fox is out front. So That's just right. FYI. Working for you today in the St. Patrick's Day Parade. We're honored. This is our ninth year of broadcasting Love the parade. It. So we're... We're excited about being I was part saying of earlier to uh, to to um, Carrie Hibbler and and Kathy that I remember the first conversation we had about when I approached you all and I said, So 
would you think about maybe being our broadcast right. partners and broadcasting the parade? And as we say, the rest is history because yep. you've been such a tremendous partner for us well, I'll tell ever you, since. And the photographer, the first one we talked to was Kevin Lynch. And he's been on board ever since and just put everything together. It's nice to see the yeah. same friendly faces each year putting this on and welcoming me to be a temporary part of your team. And we are a good team on we St. Are Patrick's a blast. Day. 45th anniversary of this wonderful parade, our ninth year being a part of it. And here come the KC Marching Falcons, Shakina Dawkins leading the way. She's been with them for 20 years. Let's listen in as they okay. perform for us, and then we'll head to the break as we continue here on Fox 4. Listen up for the KC Marching Falcons. And come back to us. doesn't just drive, Kansas City drives McCarthy because we give you a pre-owned destination at all four McCarthy Chevy locations. Shop over 500 pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs, including 85 Chevy certified pre-owned vehicles, all inspected and protected by a factory warranty. There's a pre-owned vehicle for every budget, plus fast and easy financing, and you always get 120% of book value for your trade at all four McCarthy Chevy locations. Drive in today or visit us at kccars.com. Do you know which lawyers haven't been to court in years? The insurance companies sure do. At Edelman and Thompson, we do everything it takes to protect our clients' rights, even if it means going to trial. In fact, over the last three years, our lawyers have won more jury trials in Kansas City area courts than any other firm. Insurance companies know that too. The call is free. You'll talk to a lawyer the first time you call. Edelman and Thompson, a proven record of success. Do you have bed bugs? Call SOS Pest Control, Kansas City's longtime leader in proven bed bug eradication for homes and commercial applications. SOS Pest Control, your hometown bed bug expert. Get your tickets for a school day at the K, an accredited science program with new weather experiments. Then see the Royals take on the White Sox. School day at the K, Thursday, May 4th. Fox 4's John Holt. Working for you. And welcome back live to Kansas City's Irish Parade, St. Patrick's Day here in Kansas City. Our 45th wow. annual St. Wow. Patrick's Day Parade. Unbelievable how time flies when you're having fun. And speaking of having fun, this mm -hmm. crew's with us every year. Kansas City Renaissance Festival. They've been a part of this, wow, Kansas City for 41 years. Their float is filled with enchanted creatures and costume characters marching on foot behind it. The travelers are playing drums. And of course, uh, people love the Renaissance Festival. And the people who are involved with the Renaissance Festival love it. They love to dress up. Oh yeah, they get so into it and have such a great time and really enjoy playing their characters. It's always neat to see all their costumes. Okay, okay, I, I, I've been practicing this. Oh. Are you ready? All right, you ready? go ahead. Huzzah! I, you did it. You I think you've it. mastered How about that? the huzzah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even need a teleprompter for that. <laughs> I just would like to see you out there with your little wings uh, fly, floating around. No. It's always fun I'll to leave see that the... to the professionals. Okay. okay. <laughs> the fairies and their Irish shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> this is really, truly a great Kansas City tradition. September 2nd through October 15th weekends. Labor Day and Columbus Day as well, 10 a.m. to 7. Rain or shine. Join the Kansas City Renaissance Festival this fall, and we welcome them to our Kansas City St. Patrick's Day Parade. Big group, too, man. They, I think they brought everybody with them. The dancers, I love it. The judges are going to have a hard time today, guys. Because there's a lot, there are a lot of wonderful floats and a lot of organizations. Everybody's just so happy today. I have to say, I was thinking the same thing. I think, you know, every year I think, gosh, we've had great entries. And this year is no different, if not even more. It just yeah. seems like, you know, sometimes people love the themes so much that they just get so into it and really put so much effort into it. And it's just really, They're really clever. fun and exciting. You can see the great crowds we've got right now with the weather being so gorgeous. As 95-7 The Vibe, our second place winning media last year, heads our way. I see my good friend Nikki Vivas right there. What's up, gang? That happens to be our friend Tech Nine, everybody. That's oh boy. 
Heck Nine joining 95.7 The Vibe today. That's a big deal. What up, Kansas City? Happy St. Patrick's Day. I don't know if you all saw the, the shot of Elton John in a vinyl record store asking if they had any oh, Tech right. Nine on vinyl. Oh, that's Tech hysterical. Is, Tech Nine is global, and he has some fans who've joined him there <laughs> yeah. getting selfies. Running up to get some selfies. We are excited to have Tech Nine here today. What a surprise. Say only 95.7 The Vibe can pull that off. Kansas City's own. My buddy Ponch pulling up the rear with, <laughs> yeah. with strange Hi, gorgeous. Hi, guys. She just called I you love gorgeous, you. Yeah, Ponch. I love I, is that, well, is that? he is. Okay. Look at that face. Yeah, gorgeous, face Ponch. Face My All husband's right. out of town. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Here come the American Postal Workers. Local number 67. Third place winners last year in the trade division. And you know what? Be it rain, snow, sleet, or a parade, They're everything there. gets delivered, right? And of course, they're representing the clerks, the mechanics, the drivers, nurses, custodians that work for the United States Postal Service. Thank you. <laughs> so I've got to do a little intro of our next float because I think it's really fun. And this is their first time that they've been in the parade, but it's United Excel. They're a performance-driven healthcare contractor committed to effectively managing and delivering successful projects on time and within budget. But I'm very excited about their float. They've got... Uh, They've got a whole crew of snakes making their way down the parade, oh. followed by St. Patrick, you'll see coming up the way here, keeping the peace and love in Ireland since the fifth century. <laughs> so a fun, it's so fun right. to see people or businesses and entries join our parade for the first time and really jump on board with the theme. And surely you can see here United Excel is doing just that. So the snakes were driven out of Ireland down to Broadway in Kansas City. There and you'll notice right the snakes bringing up the rear here when they come together make a giant Irish flag. That's a great concept. And St. Patrick is driving them down <laughs> Broadway right now. Your, house, your hat's a little crooked, St. Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great look. Great point. United Excel. I hear some beats in the background. I hear some music coming up. We're going to have another wonderful marching band. Another one of our drill teams, the Gateway High Steppers, are stepping their way toward us here on the parade route. Oh, and once celebrating again, 20 years of high stepping. And this, you know, these, these drill teams are a great way for kids to keep busy and active and focused, involved in school, and really, uh, they do a great job. They also have with them this year the Precious Palms for the first time. That's the young ones you see there, four to eight years old. They're and rookies here. That is precious. There is no <laughs> yeah. better word to describe <laughs> those sweet, sweet little ones. First 20 place years. winners in 2015, by the way. 20 years so. in here in the city. Their motto is motivated youth in action. 90 members strong. We're going to take a listen to them right now as they high step their way past the judges. Under the direction of Levada Davis and Darian Nave, the Gateway High Steppers Drill Team. And the Precious Palms. They range in age from four to eight. They just started six months ago. And you know what I love about this group is that they, they do focus on community involvement and action, but every one of these kids has to maintain at least a C average in school. 
So they really push the value and importance of education as well. So great job to the Gateway High Steppers. Look at them. Yeah, judges are going to have a hard time, I'd say. Absolutely. And I love, you see these drill teams who have obviously very specific costumes or and that they wear each year, and so it's not like they can just change and wear green, but they always make such an effort to somehow bring the theme in. They had a peace sign and a big heart and a big shamrock to show that. that peace, love, and Irish Perfect. theme. Perfect. And, uh Here's a here's a uh, maybe the, the biggest Mike. Irishman we've seen. Not not that guy, but the, the, the <laughs> guy. There you go. The, 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 the St. Patrick's Day Highland Dairy Cow. Well, you know what? It would be the parade without this cow walking That's on right. through. <laughs> Been a tradition. Yes. That's a 12 foot tall cow, by the way, if you're counting at home. <laughs> Okay, so the parade is all about uh, families and people coming together of all ages. And so we've got families or clans, as we yes. call them. Yes. The Relhan and O'Neill clan, second place family winner in 2016. The Relhan family had their first float 35 years ago, wow. guys. Wow. And the O'Neills joined in. And St. Patrick is driving. He's driving the John Deere. <laughs> Hi, guys. And they've got their fun little peace, love, and Irish bus going That's down cute. the route here. <laughs> and just like you've seen so many of the families, they've always got a huge group following behind because it's always a very large Irish clan, and especially with having two families, they've got a lot of fun and participation. And they're giving us peace signs, all part of the theme here. Peace, love, and Irish. The Relahan and O'Neill clan. I believe I see some... The Real Riders Car Club having our, heading our way. They're always a lot of fun to watch. It amazes me the tricks these cars can do, the way they balance well, and move all over the place. And I love it because, you know, guys in their cars, well, this club is all about guys who love their cars, John. <laughs> and, and they were a, established that, in 2008. That'd be a big club. Yes, and they, were, they would be. They were established in 2008 under the leadership of Big J Brock and Barry Nelson and Marcus Skinny G Grimes. Of I would course. say those are guys who love cars. <laughs> nice rides, as we like to say. Wow. And what they do is they take pride in being positive role models yeah. for their families, their communities, and to each other. And they have cool looking cars too, <laughs> <That's> right? right? <laughs> yes, and they like to consider <laughs> themselves a true brotherhood of greatness. Those cars are great, and some of them actually go up and down. My car does that oh, too, but involuntarily. <laughs> the, they have theirs planned. Yeah. Classic cars. Hi. The Real Riders Car Club, Kansas City. A green now cutlass, look at that one. Approaching its 10th year of existence. It's got a mean sound system, too. <laughs> I do love cars. I should be a part of that you club. You could be a part of that group. Yeah. My husband would love this if he was not busy working the parade route further back. You'll, you'll see his group later, but he would love this. He's a car guy. So if you're watching right now, of course, it is the 45th annual St. Patrick's Day Parade and a gorgeous day for it. Everybody's having a wonderful time. Everybody is Irish today. Isn't that right? That's right. Everybody's Irish. Hi. And that's one of the things we really pride ourselves on with the St. Patrick's Day Parade Committee is that we welcome everyone in our city to be Irish for the day and to celebrate with us. You know, it doesn't matter what your background is, what your religion is, what your heritage is. We welcome everyone to join us, and we do our best to really show that off during the parade. Now, see, I wouldn't want my car looking like that. You know, you well, wouldn't. I'm out of control at that point. <laughs> this guy knows what he's doing. This is actually on purpose. Yes. <laughs> John's yours is not. Uh, no, no, that is terrific. <laughs> Beautiful cars. The Real Riders Club, along with uh, a few trucks as well here at the 45th annual St. Patrick's Day Parade along Broadway in Midtown near the home of the Irish Westport. And what's so fun is you have a uh, front row seat there at home, but I, I love our front row seat okay. right here. We just have a blast And I here. have to laugh. We go from these crazy tricked out cars right. Right. to <laughs> the McCaffrey Short Title Company and their tiny little smart cars. 
<laughs> so we're going from one extreme to the other with cars today. Keep them on all fours. Keep them on all yep. fours. <laughs> Great looking little cars. And yeah. this is their tradition actually of driving these cute little green cars in the St. Patrick's Day Parade. It's a fairly recent tradition, but we hope one that they keep up for a long time. And the company was founded in 1857, making it the oldest title company in Kansas. And the second oldest continuously operating business in the Kansas City area. And that's interesting, I don't know if you know this, but every single little car in the fleet is a self-contained mobile closing office. Wow. How cool is that? Well, they're busy right now. I'm <laughs> glad that they could take a little time off and join us here in the parade as we continue this 45th annual edition of the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Speaking of the theme, how about peace, love, donate life? I love it because, you know, the love, you think of a heart, and this is the Midwest Transplant Network, and their group celebrates the gift of life through organ, eye, and tissue donation. And, of course, their theme, as John mentioned, is peace, love, donate life to go along with the freight theme. What's interesting, too, about this float, hello, guys and gals. What's interesting is that they have donor family members and transplant recipients riding and walking with the float. You know, this group is so special to me because I have a very good friend. Her name's Jenna Bell, and she is a heart transplant recipient and received her heart a year ago, just about last wow. month. And she's doing amazing. And it wouldn't be possible she wouldn't be here today if there wasn't groups like the Midwest Transplant Network. So we just, um, it means a lot to us that they join us and, and uh, support our parade every year. Peace, love, donate life is their theme. Peace, love, Irish is our theme yeah. here on this 45th annual parade day. And what a beautiful day for a parade, right? And you know, I was uh, counting up as I came down Broadway earlier and counting up a little bit, and I think there are a million people here today. Easily a million. What do you no, think? Neither one of you can count. Okay. <laughs> it's, no, it's, it's two million. Oh, oh okay. Two okay, million. so we've gone well beyond the Kansas City <laughs> Metro, <laughs> yeah, right. and we brought people. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the police were looking goodness. at us like we were nuts talking right. about a million people. Yeah, right. They're like, don't right. talk like that. It is not a million. <laughs> no, 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 no. I All would right. say, though, I do think an honest guess would be probably Probably about 250 to 300,000 people down here today. And we'll no doubt get some kind of count at some point, but you know what? It could be 100 or 200,000. Everybody's having a great time. Oh, a wonderful time, here including along the parade route. Yeah, including our marching nights, the Southeast High School Prep Mighty Marching Nights, and uh, here they come under the direction of Professor Chip Powell the second. Gotta be rough walking down, you know, with these guys. I can't imagine. <laughs> walking down the parade route. They call themselves the marchingest, playingest band in the land. So we'll listen to them. Let them take you to a quick break as we continue here along the parade route. Kansas City St. Patrick's Day Parade, Fox 4 and fox4kc.com. Come back to us. doesn't just drive, Kansas City drives McCarthy because we give you a pre-owned destination at all four McCarthy Chevy locations. Shop over 500 pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs, including 85 Chevy certified pre-owned vehicles, all inspected and protected by a factory warranty. There's a pre-owned vehicle for every budget, plus fast and easy financing, and you always get 120% of book value for your trade at all four McCarthy Chevy locations. Drive in today or visit us at kccars.com. Honey Nut Cheerios get their delicious taste from honest ingredients like real delicious honey and real oats. Okay, that's still honey. Ah, there we go. We're back to honey again. Who's directing this? That guy. Figures. Try new Very Berry Cheerios, the taste of real fruit in every bite. So very good. Is the forecast constantly dark and dreary at your house? The forecast with a Four Seasons sunroom is healthy sunshine every day of the year. It's our biggest savings of the year at Four Seasons Sunrooms. Save up to 30% now on the best quality sunrooms plus great financing. Don't live with a dark, depressing forecast. Get your Four Seasons Sunrooms free estimate today and find out how you can have the perfect forecast every day of the year with Four Seasons.
All right, if you're just tuning in, gosh, you're missing some great stuff here. We've got the O'Sullivan clan coming up. Third place family winners in 2016. Of course, I'm talking about the 45th annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. I love it. The O'Sullivans every year do this wonderful little thing with their name, the O-S-U-L-L-I-V-A-N. There they are, huge family. They're celebrating peace and love in our Irish hearts. Oh, they have a hippie there. Her name is Marina Garcia O'Sullivan. There she is. I love it, Erin. Kathy says, oh, there's my cousin. She's the one in green. <laughs> I thought I heard that. I thought, surely I heard that wrong. Apparently not. Because that's not much help today. <laughs> not today. <laughs> It'd be, you know, you'll know, if you notice any of the parade committee going by, they're actually not in green For a reason. so that they stand uh, out a little more. Right. That's <laughs> Kathy, that's a classic All in nine right. years. <laughs> and what a right. fun float the O'Sullivans did this year with the peace and the peace sign and the, the heart mm -hmm. in the middle of the shamrock with those tricolors uh, of the Irish flag. Right. It takes a lot of work to put that together. It does take a lot of work. All of those colors of that shamrock are all individual little pieces of tissue paper, so it takes a long time to wow. create. Now here's Pier Masters, and I misspoke earlier. This is your Martin City winner from last weekend. They are joining us now by virtue of that win, and we're happy to have Pier Masters yeah, along with us today. But they got a few hippies out there too. They do, a lot of peace. <laughs> a lot of love, peace and love. Yeah. And we've got the roastery coming up behind them, another really great supporter of the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Danny O'Neill, the uh, proprietor of the roastery, is a past Grand Marshal. I believe that's him driving the mobile there, the roastery mobile. Met Danny years and years ago when he and his father started the coffee company in, I believe, his basement. And he's come a long, long way. If you want to know where Danny is, look for that big, huge plane. <laughs> exactly. On the boulevard. On Southwest Boulevard. And we've got the Kansas City Irish Center heading our way. And this is a big year for the Irish Center. It is. They moved into the old Driscoll Hall and have taken that over. And so the Irish in Kansas City and those who just like to celebrate the Irish have a home to call our own now. And they, can ha they host live music. They host um, Irish language workshops. It's a really great, neat space for the Irish. And, you know, Nancy Wormington, who is uh, instrumental in the Irish Center. Her father was very instrumental in the Irish community as well, Bob Wormington. So it just keeps going on and on, this gift of giving back and this gift of the culture here in Kansas City. And I would say they embody peace, love, and Irish I would all year that. long. Yes, they do. 365, they're going to have a post-parade party at Drexel Hall. Everybody's invited to come by and help them celebrate that new home. And they're celebrating... The 10 years of the Kansas City Irish Center. While they just moved into this new space this year, they've been functioning as a center previously in Union Station mm -hmm. for a while, so they're celebrating 10 years. We have All some right. more dancers. The Driscoll School of Irish Dance heading our way, third place winners last year, and we'll see if they can dance a jig for us. And the judges, let there be love and Irish dance. That's right. And they've been a fan favorite of ours since they started in 2010 under the direction of, our, of my good friend Bridget Driscoll. Hi, guys. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. <laughs> it's a beautiful day for parade. Let there be peace, love, and Irish dancing. great performance as always by the Driscoll School of Irish Dance and we've got some very enthusiastic parents yes, we do. <laughs> coming up behind them and I like their theme here comes the sun we finally have some sun on a beautiful oh. beautiful day here in Kansas City we've got blue sky and warm temperatures finally a spring oh. is here it's so lovely yeah. to be 
in this gorgeous weather outside watching all these great entries like the O'Connor clan oh, from yes. Gardner, Kansas. This is their 39th year in the parade. So there's only, that means there's only been six parades that they've missed, wow. which, you know, as we mentioned, the early parades most people missed. So, <laughs> so it's great to have them all the way from Gardner, Kansas. And to just kind of talk about their float, you're going to see it here. Their float representing peace. Love Irish is committed to fun, laughter, and family, and I that's like that. really what it's all about. It's the original Irish jaunting cart brought over from Ireland by John O'Connor. We've seen it in past parades, and uh, just never get enough of it, do we, Erin? You know, I just love this group, and they're always so much fun. And you know that uh, that cart is similar to, or the same type of cart that can be seen in the movie The Quiet Man, starting oh. John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara when they were first courting. So, you know, who doesn't love that, oh that movie? Gosh. It's so I great. Can't, can't even tell you how many times I've watched it. Hi, guys. And you know, that cart was actually housed at the Irish Center, I believe, for years before they moved to their new location. The O'Connor clan out of Gardner, 39 years strong here in this parade with a gorgeous float. Yes. And that Irish jaunting car, as you mentioned. And I have to say I'm very excited about this next group, although I think I say that about everybody. <laughs> um, but this is the Children's Mercy Brigade, and this is actually a group from our parade committee. And they spend time at Children's Mercy Hospital the day before the parade, the day of the parade. They were there all morning long, bringing a little bit of St. Patrick's Day and a little bit of the parade to the kids that are at Children's Mercy and that can't you, leave the hospital. They're fabulous. And, you know, my kids have gone to Children's Mercy. They took good care of my little boy, Olin. Olin Michael Quinn McDonough Burns. They took care of my <laughs> hey, baby. Hey, let's get fired up for the Chiefs. There's Susie oh. and Warpaint, who you see when the Chiefs score those touchdowns out at Arrowhead. Hi, Susie. You know, she it's great. great. They not only not only does Susie and Warpaint make appearances at our parade mm -hmm. and show up when the Chiefs make touchdowns, but they also do um, school appearances throughout the community, which, you know, those kids at the schools oh, just yeah. love, love meeting Warpaint. Uh, now, I'll tell you what, we're about to enter the Emerald Division. It's going to get a little noisy here as the 137th Transportation Company, Olathe, and the Kansas Army National Guard joins us along the parade route. And, of course, they uh, are located in Olathe and Topeka, Kansas, and they are part of the Support Battalion, the 160th. 69th Combat Sustained Support Battalion. We appreciate their service to country. They've deployed to Iraq, Afghanistan, most recent deployment in December of 2012, the 137th out of Olathe, Kansas, Kansas Army National Guard. And I think, again, as we've mentioned with other uh, groups coming down the, the road here, I think I hear this group before right. our next group, before I see them, I hear the revving of their motorcycle <laughs> engines, the group of Ed's Posse. Right. So Ed's Posse has been for years um, raising money throughout the city. You may see them on street corners, especially raising money for many organizations, especially the March of Dimes. I Hi see guys. my friends, the swear engines there, little Maggie swear engine. She was born premature and now she is this thriving, amazing 11-year-old. I can't believe she's so grown up. So you see Ed, Ed there leading the charge of Ed's Posse. There they are. They have Woo! raised an incredible amount of money for nonprofit organizations around Kansas City, as I mentioned, especially the March of Dimes. During Bikers for Babies every year, they come and they dump this insane amount of money onto the stage, and it's the money they've wow. raised that year. And um, I want to say, I mean, they've raised well over a hundred thousand dollars I want to say I mean I want to say it's even way more than that so they're really a great group led by so we can forgive them for making a little bit of noise <laughs> right it's okay well yeah. we like those uh, those motorcycles and that's their, okay their motto is ride like someone's life depends on it because with the March of Hi Dimes guys. who they support those lives are depending on it the money that's that they raise absolutely that's my kind of motorcycle right there three wheels I could, do, I could do that one, too. Yeah, I, I can keep that one upright. <laughs> we could. Uh, Ed's Posse here along the parade route, 45th annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. As we continue along the parade route, you're watching on Fox 4 and fox4kc.com. As we continue to share what is one of Kansas City's most celebrated holidays, St. Patty's Day. And I'll tell you right now, just to remind you, if you have missed part of the parade and you want to go back and see it again, you can see it on our channel, 4.2. That is tonight. Antenna TV. Yes. Right. Yes. I think it comes on at 6.30. And if so, you can go to fox4kc.com and get all the information you need. Yep, the different channels for Antenna TV will li be listed on the website, and so you can find which one uh, you is know, in your area. Is in your area, right. exactly. Kansas who your City provider. Carpenters Union Local 1127. The men and women building our town. Hello, gang. Yes. 
Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> By the way, you know, we got a lot of March Madness going on right now, right? With the uh, college basketball, the uh, NCAA tourney underway, and the NAIA basketball tournament is in Kansas City. And we welcome those who are in town for the basketball. Hopefully they're here at the parade or perhaps uh, getting ready to head over to the Muni to watch some basketball watching us on Fox 4. We're glad to have you here. And, yes, we do throw a heck of a party in our town. I don't think anybody's watching basketball. They're well, watching right this now. parade. Th this is the March Madness, If they're right? not watching it, they are here. <laughs> And I can't believe it, but we are just a little over halfway through at this point. I'm excited to see what else is coming down the way. I think we've got kind of coming down this way off in the distance is KPRS Hot 103 Jams. And they have been a part of this parade for many, many years. A true tradition. Celebrating 67 years, the Carter family, great community servants as well. They use their... There are platforms to help people and uh, get the word out. Hot 103 Jams, the Carter family. KPRS. Yes, the oldest black owned and operated radio station in the United States of America. That's We're something right to be proud of. Yeah. We've partnered with them on many occasions at Fox 4. Oh, there's the morning team. There they are. They got some Irish rap going on for I us right here. I think so. Here. Let's listen in. Okay. Look at that gorgeous mural that they've got on the side of their float. Peace, love, and Irish. <laughs> I saw you dancing, John O'Hall. Not a little bit. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie, but there were there were no cameras, so uh, no proof. Now we're gonna go from hot jams, right, and the rapping, and to some uh, unique music, I would say. This band is the Emerald City Marching Band, second place in the band category last year. Now marching in their 38th St. Patrick's Day Parade. They are an award-winning Emerald City Marching Band. They so just it's, uh, don't know where to quit. No, and what's so fun is their band motto is one note at a time, <laughs> because no one is turned away who wants to join this band. <laughs> hey. So I'm kind of thinking their level, of, their talent level varies. But they're a fun, <laughs> small but mighty band joining us. What you're, what you're saying, Erin, is even I could be in this band. Yeah, I think so. One you, note. You could play the time. cowbell. The John. cow. Yes, I. You could I do might that. be a little offbeat, but I can play. It. That's okay. <laughs> Emerald City Marching Band. There they go, one note at a time, all the way down the parade route. I think it truly is one note <laughs> I think it at is. a time. <laughs> Maybe the same one. Hey, it's ocean and sea. And I love this. Their name comes from their actual last name, O'Shaughnessy. Uh -huh. Ocean and Sea, very clever. Uh -huh. This is their second time joining us and we love having them. Very fancy uh, balloon, balloon outfits dress, they've got yeah. created there. <laughs> O'Shaughnessy, Ocean and Sea. Oh, now we've got an organization. There's Miss Tori, very close to my heart, the KC Pet Project, and all the little dogs and cats that they take care uh, of. And oh. I can't get enough of them. My husband and I just adopted. We rescued a, a puppy. And so we have a, you know, a special place in our heart for all of the great rescue organizations, but especially Casey Pet Project. The largest no-kill shelter in Kansas City, Missouri, Tori. Keep it going. Keep it going. You guys are doing wonderful work, and we appreciate all you do. I can't imagine yep. what an emotional and sometimes heartbreaking job that would be. And there's one right there you can adopt. If you oh, need no. a pup at home, there you go. Oh. KC Pet Project. Keep it away. No, I, no I bet that little pup here. doesn't last long, right? That's, <laughs> that's a forever home on the way. <laughs> Fantastic. Hi. Of course, we've been talking about families being a huge part of the glue that keeps the parade together and keeps the Irish community together. And families in Ireland, clans, we've got the Darby clan, a fun-loving family. They've been in the parade, oh, since it first started. 
It, and look at them having a whole lot of fun on that trolley, the Darby clan. And I love it. Their matriarch, Marion Darby, is the one who brought their family together to start participating in the parade all those years ago. And now this has just become a time-honored tradition for their family. So it's always fun to have them. And I love how they've decorated their trolley this year in the theme of peace, love, and Irish. Right. We're seeing a lot of that neon, the hippie look, peace, love, Irish. Oh, it's perfect for this parade. And green, lots and of green. Lo How about this? Imagine that. <laughs> We've got Geyer Fence, who have built a special green fence for today's St. Patrick's Day Parade. And coming up. 35 years in business. All right, so Willie Arthur Smith's Marching Cobras. We're going to take a listen and a look right now. As they make their way down the parade route. Formed in 1969. Yep. 46 years they've been in business. They've touched the lives of more than 800 kids. And again, a lifetime achievement winner. And they're awesome. Willie Arthur Smith, we love you, Willie. Thank you for bringing them. And let's take a look. Let's watch and listen to these legendary dancers and musicians. Just drive, Kansas City drives McCarthy because we give you a pre-owned destination at all four McCarthy Chevy locations. Shop over 500 pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs, including 85 Chevy certified pre-owned vehicles, all inspected and protected by a factory warranty. There's a pre-owned vehicle for every budget, plus fast and easy financing, and you always get 120% of book value for your trade at all four McCarthy Chevy locations. Drive in today or visit us at kccars.com. Hi, I'm Chad with House Buyers KC, and I want to buy your house as is. No repairs needed, saving you time and money. Even if it's ugly, pretty, vacant, occupied, payments current or behind, it doesn't matter. You don't have to hire a real estate agent, hold open houses, repair or clean your home, and I'll save you thousands. No repair costs, no commissions, and we can close in as little as seven days. Call now, 913-777-4444, housebuyerskc.com. As a judge for 20 years, I was often asked, how do I find the right lawyer? My response, get a local lawyer, one with lots of experience and a proven record of success. At Edelman and Thompson, all of our lawyers are right here in Kansas City. Many of us have been handling injury cases for over 20 years. It's that knowledge and experience that has helped us win settlements or awards in over 99% of our cases. That's right, 99%. Edelman and Thompson, a proven record of success. The Marching Cobras with more than 300 first place trophies to their name. Again, just an amazing group, 46 mm. years, and we are honored to have Willie Arthur Smith's crew with us again this year as they march their way down the way. And Aaron, as you mentioned, they're lifetime achievers, so they're just having fun. Exactly. They just get to have a good time <laughs> and enjoy themselves and not worry about being judged. And look who else is having fun, the Twin City Riders. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're a saddle club. They've participated in the parades here for the last 20, 20, 25 years. Gosh, Kentucky Derby for the past 18 years. Mm. What their emphasis is on supporting our youth through horses and agriculture. What a great program. What a great oh. way to touch youth and really, you know, get, get them on the right track and really support them. They make it look so easy. I just want to Don't say they? that. I'd fall off sideways somehow, I think. Yeah, I would not be able to do that at all. You would not want me to do that. But it's wonderful how organizations like this can use, you know, teaching how to ride horses and everything, and then they bring the kids in and they, they get the kids interested in something like this. And it's wonderful to have them in the parade. So many of these riding clubs, you know, they reach into the inner city. They reach kids who would never normally have a chance sure. to spend time riding a horse or learning about etiquette on a horse and uh, taking care of a horse. So it's a terrific educational opportunity, and again, gives kids a chance to do something. <laughs> oh my gosh, Kevin! Kevin's fun. got to get this horse uh -oh, with go. this dog on the back. Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness, some stunt riding. Now going I wouldn't on. be doing that. Kevin's getting the dog. Look at that. 
<laughs> Dog riding on horseback. Give us Down a paw the... wave. We need a paw wave there. <laughs> <laughs> the Twin City Riders. All right. Well, we've coming up Kenneth. next, we've got the KC Crew. They're a new cutting edge adult recreational sports league and special events company that was started in 2012. Designed for people who are awesome by people who, <laughs> who are, are awesome. awesome. <laughs> they look pretty awesome to me. <laughs> awesome and they look plus. like they're having a good time. They're playing the bag toss. <laughs> and that's hard to do on a, on a, on a stationary. They're moving. <laughs> I, know, I can't imagine you doing go. that. Wow. They're just, uh, their single goal is to get together and have fun, and that's what they're doing. Speaking of having fun, you know who has fun every year is the Barr family. Absolutely. Yeah, a longtime loyal parade family, and they join us to celebrate peace, love, and Irish and lucky charms. Oh, oh. Our lucky charms. <laughs> oh, indeed. Over the past 40 years, they've shared their joys and challenges, but they love being in the parade, rain or shine. We've seen it all. And they believe that the theme of this year's Peace, Love, and Irish is the most fitting for who they are as a family, as well as their 40 years experience in the parade. And I have to call them out. I think they may have just been bribing the judges. Mm -hmm. I saw oh, some uh, oh. running up, giving them lucky charms. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's probably a very smart strategy on that oh, part. Always so. after me, Lucky Charms, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. John. I know how you two roll. <laughs> so we saw the Casey Pet Project come earlier, right? And we're very excited to have another parade sponsor, Mix 93, bringing the Unleashed Pet Rescue with them, and Aww. we're so excited to have them. Aww. See my friends Steve and Teresa coming down coming down the way with the cutest puppy. And Don't I forget, no dogs I, I over love here. Oh, Who let the I dogs want to down, bring them right? all home with oh. me. Look at that sweet face. Beautiful. Steve Serrano has just come over to the broadcast stand to tempt us all with the cutest puppy over here. Can't do it. See Rocket up there on the float. We're so, and Nate, we're so Hi, excited Robbie. to have Mix 93, of course, joining us with these sweet, <laughs> sweet pups from Unleashed. And we're grateful for their support that they give us every year as one of our radio sponsors. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> what a great I'd say Mix 93 group. and Unleashed Pet Rescue. I think Rescue you're right. I think you're right. Has brought the dogs out. And we've got the sweetest little pumpkin, a sound asleep in her, her little... Uh, her <laughs> little wagon there. How it. children fall asleep down the route, but With she is the not noise. the first one I have seen. <laughs> Sound asleep. Okay, this, this is, is my, cool. my vehicle. I wanted to right bring here. my vehicle into the parade so that you could all see it. My Tesla. There it is. We've That's got yours? Tesla joining us That's for the mine. first time. Yeah. <laughs> it's yours. You're taking it home. I let them borrow it for the parade. <laughs> it's the Model That's X right. crossover. Oh. <laughs> Look How at about that. that. Oh, my. It's neat. They've got a really cool mission to acceler accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. Such a great cause to have. And we've got Snoopy joining Aww. us. Hey. Look, we have or Eric Burke. Aww. Eric Burke, our buddy with and Worlds Snoopy. of Fun. Ah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Shh. Oh, don't say anything. Good you better to see drive it. carefully, Eric, Eric. Worlds of Fun, getting ready for another fun summer at Worlds of Fun and Oceans of Fun. Two parks in one. <laughs> Kansas City tradition. Snoopy all dressed up for the occasion as well. And you know they say uh, that, you know, Soupy just, Snoopy just always brings so much fun anywhere he goes. <laughs> and they, we hear that they're sh shouting that they open April 14th. April 14th. Oh. And by the way, World of Fun Jobs, World of Fun dot Jobs is uh, if you're looking for a summer job, check it out. Kansas City Zoo, we love you. Yes, not we just do. for two-legged kids mm -hmm. anymore. They want us to join them in welcoming their newest residents March 25th as they celebrate the grand opening of Billy Goat's Gruff Yard. They're going to have uh, two species of goats, lots of little goat babies. Oh, how cute and fun is that? We always love having the j zoo join us. <laughs> Hi, there they are. Love them. Great, great day and great time <laughs> to be out at the Kansas City Zoo. And I think they brought along a few animals themselves. <laughs> Wild animals. Well, of the two-legged variety <laughs> having a good time with us today. Here on the Parade Route 45th Annual Kansas City St. Patrick's Day Parade on Fox 4. 
And Fox4KC.com. We have some more dancing now, ahead of us here. This isn't huh? just another dance no, no. company. This is the original here in Kansas City. Oriata Manning Academy of Irish Dance. And what's so cool about it is you'll see Joseph there with the green hat on again. <laughs> green hat. Really? There's green? Where? There's green. Joseph was dancing when he was little. I remember interviewing him years and years ago. Now he is the instructor. And he actually has a world-class young man who is going to the world in yes. April in and, Ireland. And Joseph runs the school now. He took it over. Um, and it's a great tradition in Kansas City, the Orita Manning Academy of Irish Dance. And there's Michael. He's going to be heading to the world. And there's Grace. Let's listen and watch for a moment. <laughs> and followed by their enthusiastic group of parents right behind them. They must be very, very proud of what their kids have accomplished. There they go. It's got to be tough for those judges. Again, I keep saying that, but it really has to be. I know. I'm so overwhelmed by how, what a great job everybody's done, whether they're performing, whether they've built a float. And it's no different for Blue Beetle Pest Control. They're joining us for the second time. And we welcome them. <laughs> That's the only blue I've seen on the parade route, <laughs> They stand out. <laughs> a green tie, though. The True. Blue, the blue True. bug has a green tie on. It does. It does. And coming up behind Blue Beetle, we've got Plaza Liquor. They are located near the Country Club Plaza and they are Kansas City's full-service liquor emporium. Something tells me they may have been quite busy leading up to yes, today. Yes, so. <laughs> and everyone all preparing. Day all day long. <laughs> yes, indeed. What a festive atmosphere here along yeah. the parade route, Plaza Liquor. And next up, the Missouri Gay Rodeo Association, all-inclusive, all-volunteer, uh, dedicating itself to preserving the Western lifestyle, rodeos, and all sorts of fun, raising activities as well. Welcome back. Happy St. Patrick's Day, and happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. And we love the Missouri Gay Rodeo Association. They've been participating in the parade for many years now and are always so much fun. Their big Show Me State Rodeo coming up Labor Day weekend. They also have the amateur softball crew with them as well. If we get ready for softball season here in KC. And okay. I think and we'll recognize some of these Irish. I Irishmen, think so, and I think they're wanting to remind us that Q104 Sham rocks. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. And I have to say they do, because they're another one of our awesome, awesome radio partners of the parade. See my friend TJ McIntyre and Jillian, Where's part TJ? of the morning show there along with is. Zeke. Oh, hey. goodness, here comes Zeke. We had breakfast with the morning Zeke and drive. TJ. This morning we had breakfast with them over at Governor Stumpy's. And you're here again, there's Jillian. And we do love Q104. We see, I see my buddy Rhonda back there, the promotions director for Q104, and they love to remind us that they do, in fact, sham rock. My TJ, she's rocking. <laughs> she's nuts. I'll tell you, we are so lucky to have sponsors like Q104 and what we've seen along the way. We are a very supported parade and we appreciate Absolutely. that greatly. This is a first time entrant, a blessed choice of care, our home health. We have a few rookies this year that have joined it, and they're among them. It won't be their last parade, nope. I, I think. I doubt it. One of these days, we're going to be sitting here all day. <laughs> I know for this it. this parade. Because once you're in it and you see how much fun it is, you well, come back. And you know, and then you hear the, the beats like this, and you just you can't stop dancing. All right, so we're watching Foreign Language Academy Drill Team. Yes, they're a Spanish, French, and Chinese Mandarin immersion school focused on creating bilingual and biliterate critical thinkers. And we are going to watch them, and we're going to go to break, and we want you to come back to us because we've got more coming up with the 45th annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. Don't go away. Kansas City 
doesn't just drive. Kansas City drives McCarthy because we give you a pre-owned destination at all four McCarthy Chevy locations. Shop over 500 pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs, including 85 Chevy certified pre-owned vehicles, all inspected and protected by a factory warranty. There's a pre-owned vehicle for every budget, plus fast and easy financing. And you always get 120% of book value for your trade at all four McCarthy Chevy locations. Drive in today or visit us at kccars.com. How would you like to save $857 a month? That's the average monthly amount Golden Oak Lending's cash out customers save. And when your loan closes, you could also skip two months of mortgage payments. That could be another $3,000 in your pocket. Use the equity in your home to get cash out. Golden Oak's rates are low and home values are up. Call now to lock in a low rate. Golden Oak. Daddy, I'm scared. There's nothing to be scared of. It's just a thunderstorm. Let's check the weather app and see where the storm is. So we're here, and this is the storm. Let's see what Mike has to say about the storm. Now as this fast-moving storm system is on its way out, you can hear the storm moving away. There's nothing to worry about. Taking the worry out of weather. Fox 4 Weather. Calm during the storm. All right, if you're watching right now, you are watching this marvelous shot of the St. Patrick's Day Parade here near Westport Road. Thank you very much, photographer Scott DeJong, for that wonderful shot. You can see the depth of all the folks here watching this fabulous parade on this great day with so much sunshine, and we are having a marvelous, marvelous time. We actually just saw the Foreign Language Academy drill team. We're coming up right now to the Kansas City Classic Cars. This is a club. This is a club, and they are some really cool cars. I mean, everybody gets involved in the parade, don't they? Did, I think they just drove onto the route. I think, I think they saw a parade and said, hey, let's join the parade. No, we're kidding, of course. They've been a part of this parade, and it's a lot of fun to see these classic yeah. cars. This is their 10th year, in fact. Uh, of being involved, so uh, and they do good work. This yes, is a non-profit club sponsoring families for Christmas since they began, and that's what I love about it. Yes, that's why I love like all these groups that come in. You know, they they always have a mission beyond just what they're presenting. If that makes sense, yeah. you know, they're a car club, but they are really committed to doing good for the community. They have this uh, love that they love to get together. For instance, like even the parade committee, they do great work too. So that's what's wonderful about it, the partnership with Harvesters. Just want to mention that Harvesters and the parade, you know, Father Patrick Tobin, who is a co-founder, obviously Irish, mm -hmm. and the parade, just a wonderful, wonderful partnership. Yeah, that is something important to the, the St. Patrick's Day Parade Committee is giving back beyond just, you know, putting on this great parade. But you mentioned we do have the Go for the Green food drive and a reminder to those watching that you can vote for your favorite float or entry with the Fan Favorite Award. It's a dollar donation on our website to Harvesters, and you can vote as many times as you want for your favorite entry. And that's kcirishparade.com that you can go and do that. But yeah, that sort of thing's important to us, just like with working with Harvesters for the Go for the Green, and then also what we do with the Children's Mercy Brigade, who we mm -hmm. saw go by earlier. We really, we want to bring the celebration of St. Patrick's Day and the Irish community to Children's Mercy for those families that yeah. don't get to come out here to the parade. Peace, love, and classic cars. We've seen some of that today as we continue here along the parade route and next up our lady of fatima this centennial year with the statue donated by saint anne's today out of plattsburgh missouri and of course thank you to father joseph totten and joseph amayo for uh, allowing this to happen today our lady of fatima joining us uh, celebrating 100 year anniversary 1917 to 2017. And that certainly fits the theme of peace and love right there and they ask everyone to Pray the Rosary together on May 13th, 2017. For Coming world peace. For world peace. Part of the theme. Yeah. Peace, love, and Irish. Exactly. It works out perfect, doesn't it? And we've got our friends at Del Mar Gardens of Lenexa coming up this way. They're a sister facility of a nationwide nursing home provider that's been in business for over 50 years. And they have such a fun group of residents that join us every year from their from their little vans here. That's what I heard. Lots of fun loving people there. And they just love being in the parade. Hello. Out on we the parade home. route. Hello, hello. <laughs> a leprechaun or two walking out there and some of them chosen to ride as well. <laughs> All decked out in their uh, tie-dye shirts. Part of peace.
I think I'd be in the ride, the bus. I like I, they, they've got a good idea there. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride and the sights and sounds of this 45th annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. And of course, joining them uh, behind is Garden Villas of Lenexa, a luxury retirement and license assisted living community. Kevin's riding along. I think he's going to join us. I think, yeah, Kevin's <laughs> along for the ride as usual. <laughs> Hitchhiking his way down the route. Right, hi. Look at the residents just waving. Hi. So earlier, we, uh, just a minute ago, we saw the Del Mar Gardens of Lenexa, Garden Villas of Lenexa, and now we've got Del Mar Gardens of Overland Park. Again, another great group that enjoys uh, being in the parade each year, and we certainly enjoy having them. It's so neat to see the residents inside, and they're just waving and just having a good time. Being able to be a part of it. Overland Park. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Shout out to Day. Overland Park. You bet. <laughs> that would be Overland Park, oh, right? Yeah. All right. Hey, we're continuing along the parade right here, and this is this is one of my favorite favorite names of, yes. a, of an order. The Sassy Divas. I've been oh. working on that all day. Sassy <laughs> Divas are with us now. It's a major at dance company. They founded in uh, 2014, and uh, these are former college majorettes as well. They have a chapter in Kansas City and St. Louis. What they do is they train young girls. The skills needed to earn college dance scholarships. It's so neat. So neat. Again, it goes back to what we were saying. A group that has, you know, has a uh, exterior focus like dancing, but then they do so much more. Sassy Diva is going to perform for us here as we continue along the parade route, and more of our live coverage on Fox 4 at fox4kc.com. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. doesn't just drive, Kansas City drives McCarthy because we give you a pre-owned destination at all four McCarthy Chevy locations. Shop over 500 pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs, including 85 Chevy certified pre-owned vehicles, all inspected and protected by a factory warranty. There's a pre-owned vehicle for every budget, plus fast and easy financing, and you always get 120% of book value for your trade at all four McCarthy Chevy locations. Drive in today or visit us at kccars.com. March 17th and 18th, for the first time ever, the LMC Truck Toughest Monster Truck Tour is coming to the Silverstein Ice Center's arena with the king of the monster trucks, Bigfoot. The Toughest Monster Truck Tour, Silverstein Ice Center's arena. That's the proximity alarm. She's stolen a tomb. Four coffins. Yeah, and we know four is not a good number. Four totems, four riders. You ever get that feeling like someone just walked over your grave? In my case, that may have actually happened twice. Sleepy Hollow, tonight at 8 on Fox 4. The Fox 4 Weather App, keeping you and your busy family safe. Alerts, radar, and forecast from the Fox 4 meteorologist you trust. In the App Store for iPhone and Android. March 17th and 18th, for the first time ever, the LMC Truck Toughest Monster Truck Tour is coming to the Silverstein Ice Center's arena with the king of the monster trucks, Bigfoot. The Toughest Monster Truck Tour, Silverstein Ice Center's arena. All right, so we are back right now, the 45th Annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. Yes, we got some Chiefs fans there. How are you guys? This is their sports team bus, uh, their Laurel fans supporting all of Kansas City sports. And it's apparently today, their big St. Patrick's Day Parade fans too. Love that bus, look, it's even got its own grill on the That's back. That's a tailgate bus right there, isn't it? <laughs> hey, get back here. I would say so. And we've got the Plumbers Local Number 8 heading our way. The mission of the Plumbers and Gas Pitters Local Union Number 8 is to protect the health of the nation. That's certainly a good mission to have. We thank you for that mission. Peace, love, and Irish plumbers. That's important, too. Absolutely. Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> Local Number 8. United Heating and Cooling and Plumbing, a local family owned and operated company here in the Metro since 1990. It's a company where every degree matters. And they are coming up right now, the next in this wonderful parade. 
Um, I just don't know what the judges are going to do. It's very serious business for those judges looking at all of these different entries. And they're going to have a tough time today because I think this is the best that we've had so far. I really do. I think so. The floats have been so neat, so unique. Even those who didn't maybe build a float or, you know, their entry is of another nature. Everyone is really having fun with the peace, love, and Irish theme. And, and you know what? With the Irish, we talk about everybody's Irish, but the the... Hispanics, the Mexicans and the Irish have a very much of a connection. I should know. I'm half Irish and half Mexican. Come on. <laughs> right. But La Mega 1160 AM, La Mega 1160 AM. Here they are, and they're dancing away. This is wonderful. Uh, Spanish radio station serving the Hispanic community, and they are in the parade this year. But there's always been a, that connection with the Irish and the Hispanic community. And La Mega, this was their first year last year joining us, and they were actually the third place media winner. So I'd Ooh. say they started strong. They did. So right we'll see how they shoot. do this year. Yeah. I'd say they're looking pretty good. We're glad they're back again. La Mega, 1160 AM. I hear some noise. You hear some noise? I think so. I think I may hear the Kansas City Cruisers I heading our do. way. This is their first time joining us in the parade. They're a Kansas City motorcycle group who focuses hard on motorcycle awareness and have raised money for Toys for Kids with Cancer and will thrive to keep up the fight against cancer. <laughs> okay, there they are. You know, <laughs> <laughs> They're peaceful, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Bikes of all shapes, sizes, colors they've got. And appropriately, as they raise money for <laughs> pediatric cancer kids, they have kids along with them today, too. So it's a family affair, this entire parade. So much fun. And we're happy to have them along for the first time. And an organization that uses what it does yes. to help others. I love that. Here's another clan. Aha. Uh -huh. The McIntyre clan, uh -huh. here they are. And I love this, they're joining us in their <laughs> 1967 Cadillac Coupe de Ville convertible. Kathy, you need to wear your hair like that on the morning show, I Look at think that. I would look great that like that. So, so get this, I wish okay. my family had these kind of like passed down traditions, but this car was passed down from Tim McIntyre's grandfather to his mother and then to him. Uh, 50 years with the same family. My car doesn't, or my family doesn't pass down neat no. things like that. <laughs> my no. cars don't last 50 years. <laughs> right, remember his goes sideways. Right. <laughs> All right, so we've got the KC Soldierettes dance team. They're a youth hip hop and majorette dance team. They express life through dance. I love it. Yeah. They encourage education, superior citizenship, with generosity and respect for everybody. Welcome back. Let's take a look and a listen at the KC Soldierettes dance team. Just drive. Kansas City drives McCarthy because we give you a pre-owned destination at all four McCarthy Chevy locations. Shop over 500 pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs, including 85 Chevy certified pre-owned vehicles, all inspected and protected by a factory warranty. There's a pre-owned vehicle for every budget, plus fast and easy financing, and you always get 120% of book value for your trade at all four McCarthy Chevy locations. Drive in today or visit us at kccars.com. Hey Metro PCS and Cricket customers, are you tired of family plans with data limits? It's time to make the switch to Boost Mobile. Boost Mobile now has the best family plan ever. Get four lines, all with unlimited gigs of high-speed data for just $100 a month. Amazing. That's four lines with unlimited gigs of high-speed data for just $100 a month, all on our crazy fast nationwide network. And when you switch, get up to four free Samsung Galaxy phones. Visit a Boost Mobile store today. Fox 4 is proud to partner on Kids Night Out 2017, featuring award-winning country group Little Big Town, a benefit for the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Kansas City, and its life-changing programs for kids right here in the metro. Another way Fox 4 is working for you. Mark Alford and Abby Eaton. Weekday mornings on Fox 4. Working for you. All right. 
right, we welcome you back live to the 45th edition of the St. Patrick's Day Parade. A big thank you to the McCarthy Auto Group sponsoring us this year and making this broadcast and live stream possible for you on fox4kc.com. And Aaron, Kathy, and John, we're having a great time. Yes. Hope you're having as much fun wherever you are watching this parade today as the soldierettes have moved on and Justice for Angels is now up before the judges. You know, and yes. this is a really special special group of people. They're a nonprofit that supports families who've lost children to gun violence. So certainly the theme of peace and yeah, love absolutely. resonates for this group. More peace, and they are very, very representative of what this day is all about. All right, so Rosie's Dance Academy on the way down the parade route uh, has been around for 14 years. They offer all sorts of dance, gymnastics, hip-hop, modern. They have a history participating in the Leavenworth Parade, and they wanted to add this as an annual event as well. So I think you got a new one, Erin. Well, we're happy to have them join us. Like most of the dance teams, they perform right in front of the judges. So we'll let you watch okay. and listen as they get ready to show off their stuff. You know what I love about this? They brought their own music. DJ Joe performing <laughs> live for Rosie's Dance Academy. That's impressive. Pretty darn impressive. Good stuff, yeah. And you know, you don't even think about it. You think, okay, they're gonna go perform. They're not even acting nervous. I no. would be so nervous. They're calm, cool, collected. They're also not at a, acting exhausted, and they're That's almost true. down the entire parade route That's already. That's true. They've walked almost a mile at this point, and here they are just working their tails off, dancing like crazy and having a blast. And you know what? But There's a reason for that. What? They're young. That's right. <laughs> we need an oxygen and tank Wait, to does us. that mean there's a reason that we couldn't do it? I'm, wor I'm worn out <laughs> watching them, okay? They are that good. Say hello to a girls' night out oh. limo. I want on board that limo. That looks like fun. <laughs> Look at it's that. a luxury oh, yeah. limo liner entertainer Ma. bus. Yes, it He's is. Reeling you in, John. Yeah, reel me in. I'm, course, I'm all yours. <laughs> those on top of the bus are making me slightly nervous, right. but I trust that they know what they're doing. <laughs> no breaking news. We don't need any breaking news along the parade. <laughs> no, right. Girls' no, night no. out please, limo looks please like fun. No. Right. Right. <laughs> oh, that looks like fun though, doesn't it? Road trip. For sure. That'd be a fun thing for a girls' night out, was what I was about to say. And then I thought. <laughs> Well, that's, that's their name. I'm in. I'm in. But that's what I'll be your driver. Yeah, John <laughs> wanted to go. <laughs> Sorry, John. Right. So we have got a group called Belly Image heading our way. They're a 3D, 4D ultrasound studio and mommy spa. Love it. Kathy, when your kids Love were it. little yes. and when you were pregnant, would you not have loved this mommy spa? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They've it's been around in the area for about eight years. They have pre and postnatal massage. Oh my goodness, there I'm done. <laughs> pre and postnatal massage, See? as well as a baby boutique and maternity consignment. How fun is that? And this Anything is that first pampers timer. new moms right is here, like this perfect. Is the first timer. Yes, this yeah, is the I'm, first time they've joined us. I'm in not our a parade. mom. I'm not a mom. Never will be. I'd love one of those. <laughs> okay. How about that? Maybe they'll let you sneak in <laughs> yeah, and, right. and just pretend for fun. I think they're gonna laugh. And at what it. a cute entry there. Float there. They've got peace, love, and Irish on Aww. pregnant. Bellies. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> that is cute. Terrific. Very creative to match with what they do and the theme of the parade this Speaking year. Speaking of love, how about K-Love Radio 97.3? Back again this year? Yep. Oh, my. 
And Kay loves a great, positive, and encouraging radio station. She's always a little nice in times that are stressful or sure. challenging. Positive, encouraging. Hey, thanks so much for the shout out. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and polite as well. All right, here come the Show Me oh. Riders. Some more horses to riding club along the way. And again, a great chance for youth to be involved in Absolutely. A local nonprofit riding club that uh, works and strives to create an impact on the local young youth folks here through horsemanship and building healthy communities. And it's wonderful. So you've noticed this is kind of a fun, maybe silly, maybe a little bit of a gross fact, but I'm going to share anyway. You've okay. noticed a lot of horses yes. in the parade, and we talk about what groups are judged on. Fun fact, these groups are judged to make sure there's a pooper scooper following behind them. And I noticed as, as their pooper scoopers lead, or following up right behind them. <laughs> Hello. So in other words... No pooper scooper, no prize. No pooper scooper, <laughs> okay. no prize. But fortunately, the Show Me Riders do have a pooper scooper. Thank yep. goodness. Nobody needs to walk through that. But, you know, we've got so many horses, which is so great in the parade. We've got to think about these and here, kind of Wait things. a minute. No, here, oh, here he goodness. Comes. Here comes the pooper scooper. Oh, and a little bit the close. pooper scooper's coming <laughs> near right us. There. Oh, that's lovely. Lovely live shot. <laughs> Lined with green shamrock paper. <laughs> of course it is. Even decorating the Poop poop. Now so that's good. not a, that's not a reflection <laughs> on on us, is I it? I hope no. not. Okay. And we've probably <laughs> talked about that long enough. Now your viewers okay. are not going to be right. Hey, I want to give a shout out to Dean Realty. They're a part of this parade again. Our neighbors up on Signal Hill, Lester Dean and his crew, and I want to thank them for the work they've done to beautify our neighborhood, Kathy. They've yes. done a great job they all have. up and down 31st Street there, Signal Hill with landscaping, streetscaping, Rocks, put in sidewalks. Things, yeah. Great work by our friends at L Dean. Underground Dean Realty, Lester Dean and his crew celebrating St. Patrick's Day here with us. As with so many people here, thousands and thousands of people are celebrating today. Yeah. As they're wearing green, green shamrocks, green, everything's green. The dogs are green, folks. And let me tell you, Lester's a big Irish leprechaun. He's a, he's a tall one, though. Let me tell you. <laughs> he is. He's a tall okay. leprechaun, yeah. I like that brogue. You sound good. Yeah. yeah. Once a year, I bring it out. <laughs> I don't even try it. I sound terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got the American Cancer Society of Kansas City. I love this. Their sign says, kiss me, I hate cancer. So uh, I think everybody does. Everybody would agree with that. And of and course, it's great to have them here. You know, over the past hundred years, the American Cancer Society has been working relentlessly to end cancer. I know they do really, really great, mm -hmm. great work. And they've got a fun... Um, uh, beetle bug, VW beetle coming up uh, with the parade theme, Imagine There's No Cancer. So that works well with peace, love, and Irish. Yeah, one of the things they do as well, uh, the American Cancer Society, is not just work to raise money for research, but they also advocate and they support cancer patients. Right. They do. You know, I work for the American Heart Association, and we partner all the time with the Cancer Society and on our advocacy efforts. You know, what's good for your heart is also good often right. for cancer prevention, and so we work so closely with them. And uh, I know they do great work. And they're very excited, as you can tell, to be marching today in the parade and to show their peace, love, and Irish. But it's okay to hate cancer at the same time. Absolutely. All right. All right, we're going to dance down Broadway with the Broadway Drill Team. This is the second time they've been here. This is actually, I believe, uh, Faith Academy. Faith Academy. Joining us with their cheering members for the third year. This is the third wow. year participating and the show, second year showcasing their cheer talent. They're in North Kansas City, and uh, their, their uh, cheerers here, their participants, are students between the age of um, second grade and eighth grade. And they're gonna perform for the judges.
the Faith Academy. Doing such a great job. That's the second year for the cheer team, and they are, uh, they're having a great time. And again, as you mentioned, Aaron, they're wearing their uniforms, purple, but they're in the Irish spirit with exactly. us today. Exactly. Yeah. And they're from North Kansas City. We love having them. Second Absolutely. to eighth grade spirit squad cheerleaders. So speaking of uh, the Irish spirit, uh, our next group has taken pink to green with the Diagnostic Imaging Center. Even, a, the, even the driver has a green wig on. <laughs> I love it. And of course, they, as we know, they do work to detect um, early, dete or they work towards de early detection of breast cancer. Right. There, I got it out. This mobile 3D mammography it, it unit is able to take that to communities, to neighbors. So it's a mobile it's unit. Incredible. It brings it to you, so no yeah. excuses. Get checked. Yes. Early detection is the key. Oh, I hear music uh -oh. again. Uh-oh, here we Love go. It. Here we go. We've got Magic 107.3. I see my friend Maurice DeVoe up there and another friend Paul Chandler up there having a good time celebrating peace, love, and Irish. Kansas City's best mix of R&B carrying on this year's parade theme of Funk Fest. <laughs> Kansas City's best mix of R&B. That's a fun group there. I think I think they're having a good time. They do have a good time. Yeah. I just noticed Maurice DeVoe, their program um, director, is wearing a kilt today. Ah. Wearing his finest kilt. By the way, don't forget Funk Fest, June 17th. Magic 107.3. All right, so we've got some dancers coming up. Oh. The Rain Casey Dance Team, a nonprofit dance team based out of South Kansas City. They formed in 2015 in September. They've been blazing trails ever since. They compete both locally, and their goal is to teach teamwork, how to achieve any goals, and how to be a team player. We're going to watch them right now. They look like they're ready to roll. They're ready for those judges. Here they are, the Rain Casey Dance Team. As we get ready to hear from them, Aaron, I get the impression we're seeing more and more dance teams over the years that we've been involved yeah new groups joining in on the fun that is correct we this year I think we've had a record number of dance team we've we've had quite a few which is great they're always so entertaining and fun whether they're the little little ones to the older ones who, whose skill has really developed over the years it's exciting to watch here we go Two words. Two words. Yes. Ah, oh, youth. <laughs> ah, gonna, the energy. Oh, my goodness. I thought the, you were going to say, I'm tired. Uh, no, well, that too. Two more. No, that's great watching the kids. They, they really are so talented, too. I mean, they're, they're in sync. They're having fun. And so are we. 45th Annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. We are, aren't we? As the I, Rain KC Dance Team from South, South Kansas City. I love this. This is a great time. I love it's it. It's a great time. And we are, this year is no exception. A big thanks to the parade committee for all they've done to put this on. And I understand that none of them are going home and going to sleep. Oh, there no, might no. be a little post -gathering. No, no, no. <laughs> we work so yeah. hard all morning and early afternoon that uh, we we go to the 816 Hotel, have ourselves a, a nice meal, and then we get on a bus and go all over Kansas City and have a good time. Well deserved. <laughs> well deserved. And I think you guys are looking at right now the Healthcare Resort of Kansas. They're working to change the way healthcare is being delivered to the greater Kansas City area. Well, that's a great mission to have for sure. And right behind them is the Ambitious Dance Starlets. Aha. They're a new group, just formed in 2015, but they look like they've been at it a while. Strutting their stuff down Broadway. Jazz, hip hop, yeah. and they've got ballet, all sorts, and they're a competitive team. We're going to watch them as they walk in front of the judges right now and get ready to compete. I don't know, folks. It's going to be a tough one. <laughs> I keep saying that, but I think so. Here they go. Let's watch them. Ambitious dance starlets.
They are ambitious, the ambitious starlets. They love to express themselves through dance, and they did it today. They sure did. Ambitious Dance Studio. Again, just a couple years old, but they look like they know what they're doing. Having a great time here along the parade route. And hey, not to be outdone. The Royal Diamond. I was going to say, you mentioned we've got a lot of dance teams this <laughs> yeah. year, and it sure, we sure do. So we've got another one coming up, the Royal Diamonds. And they're fairly new, too. They were just established in 2013, mm -hmm. and they were formerly known as the Ravens. And their motto is to surround yourself with the people who believe in your dreams and become the change you want in today's society. Directed by Vernon Washington, let's take a look right now at the Royal Diamonds.